Thank you for calling apartments. This is Jessica. Hey, Jessica. Uh, this is Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton. I'm calling you from the International Space Station up in space. You know, no, you're not. Yeah, I am. What are you talking about? No, I'm not. Why would I lie about that? <laughs> How can I help you? Uh, well, I dropped a socket wrench. I was doing a spacewalk, and I think it landed in the like the courtyard area of your apartments there. Could you go check? Seriously? Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. It's so inconvenient. It's like a it's like a standard size socket wrench, and it um it says property of NASA on it. It's like a, stamped on it. This isn't a joke? No, not at all. I, why would I joke about this? Oh, it, because it just totally sounds like a joking phone call. Oh, no, 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 ma'am. No, not at all. It's just, uh, <laughs> you, it, it's like property of NASA. I don't think, you, you know, like, I, I don't want someone to pick it up and it ends up on eBay. It's like oh, okay. made of titanium and yeah. <laughs> got okay. probably space radiation um, on it. Yeah, I'll have to just do a, do a walk, around, walk around my premises. Okay. And then how can I reach you to oh, let hold. you know that I found it? I can hold. Oh, it, it's going to take me longer. It's four buildings on this property. Oh, I see. Okay. It's probably glowing. You know, it's been through space. It survived the, the re-entry and everything, and it's probably mm -hmm. red hot and, and is uh, radioactive. But it's not dangerous. Okay. It's just radioactive. Don't, 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 okay, so don't. obviously don't touch it. Oh, no, you can touch it. Maybe, maybe just uh, pick it up with a handkerchief or something. Um, okay. All right. I, I could just call back, like, um, I don't know, like an hour or something? Um, yeah, maybe like in 20 minutes or so, that should be just fine. Okay. Well, thank you so much for checking, ma'am. Yeah, and what's your name again? Uh, my name is Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton from the International Space Station. Okay. Wow, you guys can really zero in then and see where things fall then, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I was looking through binoculars and I can see straight down there and I saw that it landed. It's like right in the middle of the buildings. Like how the buildings are arranged is kind of like right in the center, kind of. Okay. Um, yeah, give me... Uh, so it's okay to touch it even though it's radioactive? I don't know if I feel comfortable. Oh, no, it's see. a different kind of radiation. No, it's fine. Oh, okay. it, it's like the kind of radiation that you get from turning on, on an incandescent light bulb. Okay. <laughs> so it's okay. fine. It's fine. It's probably all cooled off by now anyway. <laughs> okay, I'll go uh, take a look, and if you just want to give me a call back in 20 minutes, I'll let you know if I found it. Okay, 20 minutes. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah, you're welcome. What, what was your okay. name again? My name's Jessica. Okay, thank you so much, Jessica. Yep, bye. Bye. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, it's been, uh, looks like, 25 minutes now since I talked to Jessica. So let's give Jessica a quick call, see if she found my socket wrench yet. Thank you for calling my apartment. This is Jessica. Hey, Jessica. It's Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton again from the space station. Yeah, hi. Hey, did you happen to find that socket wrench? I did not at all. Oh, man. Huh, okay. Yeah, unless, yeah, and, I, and I walked every, you know, around all of our buildings. Yeah. Unless you can let me know exactly where you're seeing it, then I can go see it. Oh, uh, we've we've uh, at this point we've passed by, so I can't even look down there anymore with my binoculars. But it seemed like it was out in the middle. I wonder if maybe a resident found it and picked it up. Maybe you yeah, could. I, I, maybe you could send out not, emails or a poster or something like ask all the residents if they found NASA's socket wrench. <laughs> Um, it says I, I, yeah, I, <clears throat> I looked around and just didn't, didn't see anything. Okay, well, you know, if, yeah. if it turns up, do you think you can give me a call back at the number on your caller ID? Um, I don't have a caller ID. Oh, okay. Well, I have the number here. Okay. Um, it's uh, area code 321, and then uh, uh, the phone number is 420-6969. That, that's the direct line to the space station. Just ask for Tuck. Oh, Okay. Um, when you were looking down, did um, it wasn't in a parking lot? You said it was in the grass. Yeah, I thought it was in the. It looked like grass from up here. Yeah. Okay. Because I yeah I checked all of my grass areas. Yeah, it's hard to this. tell because from space grass is blue and and parking lots are more of like a, a green gray. But it's, it's hard to tell oh. the difference sometimes. Okay. Okay. Well, th um, thank you so much for yeah. looking. I really appreciate the help. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Sorry I, I couldn't locate it oh, for it's, you. Oh, it's no problem. E either way, you've, you've served your country, and 
We're very <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> okay, well, have fun up in space. Okay, thanks. Have fun <laughs> down there not being in space. It must be boring. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Pendleton away! Listening to the Snowbird Show Here on the Brain Coalition We're calling lords and customers Causing massive aggravation Oh, he's Dr. Hobo He's your host He drinks for loco with his jelly and toast yeah. Sit back, relax, let the antics begin You're listening to the Snowplow Show, episode 448. This one is sponsored by Curaz, who's a supporter on everything. Thanks, Curaz, for being a supporter on everything for years now, pretty much forever since the beginning. A good place to support the Snowplow Show is, of course, the Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. But if you're not a Patreon supporter, this is the perfect time for you to help support the PLA with our 2018 coin Kickstarter. Just go to kickstarter.com and search for Phone Losers of America. We're in there. The Kickstarter has met its goal. The coins are happening. It's up to $1,600 right now with 87 supporters. 18 days to go. And that's pretty much exactly what it's going to cost me. I got my quote from the coin company. And I added a fourth type of metal. We're going to get gold coins too. That's why it's getting so pricey. But I still want to do the lapel pins. And I'm most likely going to do those no matter what. But it sure would help if there was just a few hundred dollars more because I got a quote from those lapel pin people and they want about $400 to make 200 lapel pins, which probably means you're not going to have much chance of getting a lapel pin unless you're supporting on the Kickstarter or on the Patreon. So you better do it. Kickstarter.com. Go do it right now. I only have one other update, really. Uh, I got this email from Anthony and he says, hey, Brad, long time listener, huge fan here. I have a cartoon series on YouTube. My newest episode has a phone store in it, and I put your Bell logo on the sign. I thought you might get a kick out of it. You may remember me emailing you last year and putting your Bell logo on a cactus in the Out of Gas episode. Yes, I do remember that. Check it out if you'd like. Keep up the good work on your shows. And I'm going to put a link to his video in the show notes, because for nearly three entire seconds, the PLA logo is in this video. It's totally worth going to watch. Hey, Mom, when are you going to let me have a cell phone? It seems like everybody at school has one except for me. Oh, I don't know. Those can get pretty expensive. It's kind of like a public service announcement cartoon. It's good stuff. It's called New Cell Phone by Scrawny Cartoons. One more quick thing. If your podcast feed or your email notifications or whatever blew up for phonelosers.org, sorry. I messed up again, okay? I'm sorry. I was setting up feed syndication for the Brad's Cactus Shack stuff. Because, oh yeah, I did a, another uh, payphone show where you could call my payphone. It was a Facebook stream that I did last night. I took calls for about an hour on the payphone. If you missed it, that's what you get for not being on Facebook at the exact same time I happened to go on the air. It was a fun show. I talked to a bunch of weirdos. I learned about the Couch Gang. And you can listen to that show by going to phonelosers.org now. Fuck going to notla.com because now the feed is syndicated on phonelosers.org. And hopefully it shows up in your feeds. Anyway, sorry about all the, the additional posts in your feeds. I didn't mean to do that. It was an accident. Okay, I think it's time to get started with the show. I did a live show earlier today. I figured I would just do an hour, an hour and a half or so, and it turned into three hours. And then after that, I had to do three hours of show editing, and I've gotten it down to about an hour and 48 minutes. That's why I probably won't get the show posted until tomorrow. So this is a live show that I did on Mixler and Shoutcast based on a list that Max Power sent me. Enjoy! Hey there! I'm Mr. Biggs from the Stick It with Mr. Biggs podcast. And when I work with glues and adhesives, I like to listen to the Snowplow Show. Because that's what it says here on the paper. Not familiar, in all honesty. I've never heard of this. So hey everyone, it's a live show. Banana What's His Face wants to know why I'm doing one now. What's that supposed to mean? What's your problem? Um, I got a list here from What's His Face? Uh, Max Power. Max Power here with another list. I did some digging online and found various classified ad listings from homeowner association communities. The following are ads from the homeowners association. I don't understand where he's getting these, though. Um... 
Yeah, I don't know. Is it Craigslist? Is it Facebook HOA ads? But basically, it looks like Craigslist. It's uh, people selling things. Like this first one uh, is selling a leader's whitewash rattan table with stools, 30-inch glass top. Call Robert if interested. So, yeah, I guess I could call as the Homeowners Association. Or like, I like this one on the end, actually, first. I'm going to try this one first. I'm going to change my caller ID. The bad thing about these is I'm probably going to have to change my caller ID every couple numbers. So that might slow me down a bit. Uh, this guy is looking for a used car. So let me try and do this thing here. Hello? Hey, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Oh, yes. And we saw that you uh, posted a classified looking for a used car. Oh, no, I'm all set. I found one. You found yeah, a I used did. car. You found a used car? Yes, I, yes, I did. Okay. So I'm all set. Thank listen, you. Thank listen, you for calling. Ma'am, listen to me. Yeah. Don't hang up. Uh, you understand that you can't have used cars here at the Homeowners Association. Are you trying to make this whole place look like a bunch of hobos live here? <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, sorry. I'm probably one of them then. <laughs> well, you, you can't be. What are you going to do? Right. You, you, All right. You gonna All put, right. Thank you. You're going to put it on your lawn or something? You can't do that. It's against the rules. Why isn't she getting mad at me? I thought that was a great premise. All right. Let me find that on the list and delete it. Hold on. Let me call her back. What the hell, lady? Laughing at me. You can't do that. Hey, hello, ma'am. Ma you cannot. No, please. I I don't know who you are, but I'm busy right now. Please don't keep calling me. Well, I'm I'm from the homeowners association, ma'am. You can't do this. <sighs> All right. Hey, did I mention that I am on the shoutcast today, and it's actually working as far as I know? I went to the the website and I I listened and I could hear myself. So if you uh, need to save bandwidth then there's a Shoutcast today. Because who doesn't like Shoutcast in 2018? Uh, number four, free table. Solid oak with a uh, light stain. Glass inserts. I should ask what the stain is. <laughs> the legs come off easily for transport in a car. Call Victoria if interested. It's got stains on it. That's gross. Hello? Hi, is Victoria Brown? She's not. Where is she? Who's calling? Well, what, what are you getting upset with me? This is Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Well, she, she was selling think it. about what you just said. I, I asked for Victoria. That's all. And you asked if she was available. I said she isn't. And I said, who's calling? Right. And I told you I'm Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Okay. So... Do you want to leave a message? No, not really. But why are you upset with me? Like, what did I do wrong? Well, you didn't do anything wrong, but I can't tell you how many calls I have gotten today that are spammy calls, and I assumed yours was as well. Okay. So my apologies. All right. Apology accepted, I guess. Um, yeah, so uh, how much is, is she selling that solid oak table for? Uh, the one that's got the, the, uh, that's on Craigslist? Yeah, is it on Craigslist? Is that where she put it, or did she put it somewhere else? Well, she put it on Craigslist, and I think it's on the webpage as well. Ah. So, so, 10 bucks takes it. I see. And how much was she planning on giving to the Homeowners Association? Huh? Well, she didn't, she didn't, um... She didn't register this sale with the Homeowners Association, so it seems like she's trying to sell a table without giving us our commission. Uh, I'm not aware of any of that. Yeah, we usually That's... just take 20%. <laughs> Is that okay, well, you, you'll get your 20%. <laughs> okay, well. That, that, that's a new one. Oh, no, no, this is new. What, it's no, no, it's... no, new for us. Yeah, not not, not n a new process, just new for us. It's we just, were completely unaware of that. It's how it's always been. You, you can't be uh, just trying to sell things without letting us know first. It's a homeowners association rule. It's in the rule book. You need to brush well, well, brush up on your rule book, I, sir. 
Well, I, I'm at a loss as to what you're saying. So we submitted everything through the website. Mm -hmm. So how would the association be unaware of it? Well, you have to fax in the paperwork. You have to download the forms online, then fax it in, fill it out. Um, and, you know, we'll just take 20% of anything that you sell while you live here. So, you know, even if it's a car or a trailer or anything like that, it's just to keep people from running businesses out of their home, like it seems like Victoria probably is. And, you know, you're using homeowners association roads, stuff like that. We, we got we to gotta recoup our, our expenses here. For your wife to run her so, her business. So 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 tell me again who you are. Uh, this is Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. E e e okay. And what yeah. position do you hold within the association? Um, I'm the comptroller's office. Okay. So help me here. I go on the website. I fill out the form that's on the website. Yep. And you're saying, in addition to that, I have to complete some kind of a document and fax it into the association? Yeah, you have to download the PDF, or you can come over and, you know, just pick some up in person if you want, and then you have to fax them back in. And uh, just tell us how much you're going to sell the thing for. And then uh, there's an, a separate form for when you actually sell it, in case you give someone a discount or whatever. And, uh, you know, we'll we'll take that into account. And, you know, you just owe 20%. Interesting. Okay, so you're not calling because you're interested in the table. No. You're calling to make me aware that we're doing it incorrectly? Yeah, well, I sort of pretended to be interested. It was kind of a ruse uh, just to make sure you weren't trying to pull a fast one on us, you and Victoria, trying to scam the Homeowners Association. But, no, you, ad you admitted okay. that it was... Ten dollars and not free. Unbelievable. So, okay. What's unbelievable? So, what, so, pa what part don't so you believe? If, wait a minute. Let let me finish. Okay. okay. So <laughs> if we sell this, you get two bucks. Yes. If we don't sell this, do we owe you something? Uh, no, no, no. We don't take anything. There's no listing fee yet. Uh, we we tried that for a while and people didn't like it. So, no, there's, okay. there's no fee for listing. Okay. Well, I, I was really happy when I thought you wanted to buy this thing. Really? Because, for just $10? Yeah, what? You really need yeah, the money that bad? Yeah, because we want to get rid of it. Yeah. Why don't you give it away for free then? If you do it for well, free, it's just $1. I, 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 I would do that. So, um, on the website... If I change it to free, mm -hmm. do I still have to fill out any paperwork? Yeah, it's $1. We call that the free fee. But here's the thing, and maybe I shouldn't be telling you this, but if you were to sell it to somebody for $0.10 cents instead of for free, then you have to just give us a penny. But you have to fill out the pa <laughs> paperwork and, and pay taxes on it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, I appreciate the information, and we will know better for next time. Okay, I appreciate you coming clean about trying to scam the Homeowners Association by not filling out the paperwork. <laughs> no scam intended, believe me. Well, kind of seems like it. Have you ever sold anything there before without doing the paperwork, since you, you're pretending that you don't know about it? Well, hold on a second. That's a hell of an assumption on your part. Oh, well, I'm, I don't know. Like, you're, you're selling tables you, all willy-nilly. What the hell are you talking about? I'm just saying... You're assuming that I am pretending like I don't know this? Well, we have a lot of people Where trying to do this. Where do you come off with that? Trying you to, don't know me. Yeah, but a lot of people try to pull the same scam. I don't care what a lot of people do. You're talking about me, sir. Yeah, but, you know... What do you mean, yeah, but you know? I think it's incredible that you would talk to somebody and you represent the association. Everybody is, makes the same claim just like you are right now, but then we catch them. I don't and... care what everybody else makes. You are making a personal assumption about me, and I take quite offense to that. Okay. I got well, on your website. 
I put on everything there. I spoke with some woman, uh, I don't remember, Trixie or something, who helped me do this. Mm -hmm. Nothing was ever mentioned about what you're talking about. And we don't make a habit of trying to scam anybody. Okay. Well, I hope not, because we're, we're going to have people watching your house. And if we see someone... What? Leave, if we see someone leave with the table, you know, it's going to... We, we've got neighbors, certain, like, their, their quote-unquote neighborhood watch. They, they watch people and, um, you know, keep an eye out for scammers like you. So, You're calling me a scammer? No, again? I'm just saying if you were to do something like that, we're just just so you know, we're watching. Like we're like Santa Claus over here. It's uh eight o'clock at night. Are you Thank in you. the office right now? Uh I'm calling from home right now. The office is closed. It'll be open when tomorrow. When will you be in the office? I want to meet you. Uh, I'll be in around nine in the morning. Okay. I will see you tomorrow. And give me your name again. Uh, this is Steve Dave. What, what are you going to come in and, and, like, what is this, a threat or something? I mean, I'm, I'm just saying you got to follow the rules just like everyone else. Steve, Can't your last be, name, please? Uh, Days, D-A-Y-S. D-A-Y-S. Yep. And you and you are a homeowner in place? Oh, yeah, yeah, I live here, too. I'm, I'm one of the uh, neighborhood watch people. I watch all of my neighbors, make sure they're not... You know, trying to run businesses out of their home, like Victoria. Will you stop saying that about my wife? No, well, this I is just... not a business, sir. Well, we don't know that. Just, just... I just told you it's not a business. Now, you're really pissing me off, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to do that. Well, you are doing it. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. If we find out that uh, you have been, oh man, someone, someone said that uh, he he would have to destroy the table, destroy the table in front of us. I wanted to say that, but nope. <laughs> We've gotten reports about Victoria before. All right. So next, uh, number three. I'm going backwards. Um, that was number four. Now we're doing number three. A Serta Comfort Queen mattress with adjustable base and vibrator. <laughs> uh, only three years old. No stains. Must sell. $475. Call Henry if interested. Any any crazy ideas for this one, you guys? Oh, by the way, on that last one I just did, um, I, I, I asked him how much it was before noticing that it actually said free table. It said it was completely free. And then he, he just springs it on me that it's 10 bucks I wonder if he knew that it was free and he's like oh this guy is asking I may as well make a few bucks impress impress Victoria <laughs> so see he kind of is a scammer all right so yeah I'm gonna just call this one see where it goes I'm gonna call Henry hello hi is Henry Brown hold on just a second please okay who's this uh, this is his daughter, Ellen. Oh, hey, Ellen. What you doing there? I live here now. Oh, okay. Don't don't bite my head <laughs> off. I'm calling from the homeowners association, so you don't you don't want to oh. get on my bad side. I, oh, I, I, okay. I, I, can, I can start enforcing uh, <laughs> stupid little rules and and make your guys' uh, life a living hell. Uh oh. What are you gonna? What what did I, what did I do wrong? No, I'm just saying you you snapped at me. You like bit my head off when you said you live here now, and uh, I don't know. Because I, I didn't know who you were. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I guess I forgive you, just this once. But you're on thin ice. That's strike I, one. I am so sorry. It's, I it's, I didn't know who you were. I'm I'm sorry. Yep. Yep. This is Steve Dave, homeowners association <laughs> comptroller's office. Okay. Don't make me give you a, a bite in my head off fee. Okay, I won't. Because I don't have the money to pay for it. Yeah, it's expensive. you got to watch it. I know it is, yes. <laughs> Very. Um, hold on a second, I'll get my dad for you, okay? Okay, what's he doing? Uh, he is cleaning out the desk. Oh, okay. Like, uh, it, frantically, like a... Like, like just getting rid of old stuff and, and cleaning up the desk because it's annoying him. Okay. I thought he might be like 
shoving things through the shredder like Saul Goodman or something? No, not yet. Okay. Not yet. No, he's just cleaning up uh, all the pens and pencils that he's accumulated over the years. <laughs> ah, it's pen. Pen. P-E-N. Pen? Yeah, P-E-N. Pen. And no, he's got pens and pencils. <laughs> oh. Oh. He's got lots of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Lots of pens and pencils. Yeah. Yep. Hold on just one <laughs> second and I'll get them for you, okay? Okay, thank you. And I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bite your head off. It's okay. I'm getting I'm almost over it. Okay. But, but please get please get over it. If yeah. you if you like you can come over for a drink and I'll, you know or or uh or a piece of cake or something and I'll oh, make it up to you. We're not allowed to take bribes, ma'am. We're like basically like police officers. Oh, okay. <laughs> that wasn't a bribe, it was an invitation. Well yeah, that's what someone would say to a police officer. I was just okay. inviting you to take this fifty dollars in cash. Uh, I think I better be quiet before I get myself into any more trouble. Yep, you watch it, lady. Hold on, just one second, okay? Okay. Hello. Hello, Henry. Uh, it's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes. Uh, I was just talking to your daughter. She was very rude. She bit my head off. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, well, I'll tell you, if you're if you're in the throes of moving, that is not a happy uh, way to live right now. Because oh, it's tough. Is she trying to pack everything up and unpack and figure what you're taking and all? It's going to be a tough one. Are, I I tell you, I, I didn't even t suffer going in the service and fighting the Chinese compared to what it is to to sell a house and move. Really. Yeah. Are you moving out or is she moving in? <laughs> no, I'm moving out. Oh, okay. Like the Billy Joel's. And I don't know where she's going to be because uh, I'm going into a, a nursing home. And uh, this way uh, uh, I should be in there maybe before the end of the year anyway. I see. Okay. Well, that's that's great. Good yeah. Good to hear. Yep. So what else is new? <laughs> uh, nothing much. I was calling to let you know we're going to be... Um, we're going to be letting some Somalians move in uh, on in your backyard. Some what? Some Somalians, uh, refugees. Yes. Uh, they're going to be. We're going to be setting up uh, some tents in your backyard and on your front yard. Um, just oh, you got to be kidding. No, no, just ten, <laughs> ten total, like two in the front, eight in the back, and uh, they're just going to be staying there for a few months, probably until after summer. Yes. And then, yeah, there's just, uh, you know, got, got to put them somewhere, you know. Well, who, whose idea was that? Uh, it was ours. Uh, it was mine, personally. I'm like, you know what? We, we, we could help out. Um, you know, the, the government, they give us a little bit of money for this. I'm like, we could just uh -huh. go put them in Henry's yard. No, 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 not in Henry's yard. <laughs> yeah, no, that's no. what we're going to do. We're going to have, they're going to be there uh, next week to set up the tents and uh, the porta potties. You got to. Are you serious, or you 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 uh, you you pulling my leg? Oh no, I'm completely serious. It's just going to be for a few months. That's all. Just until just just after summer. That's all. But the good thing is, like I said, who, whose idea was that? It was mine. It was mine. But then, oh. uh, you know, Ed he approved it. Uh, who and who approved it? Ed Ed here at the homeowners association. He's like, yep, that's a good way to make a little bit of extra cash here. Ed in a homeowners association. I don't understand. Uh, uh, the homeowners association, uh, the big club, has nothing to do with the little club. I was president of the little club, and I was told to stay out of that big club and not have anything to do with it because they have their own rules and regulations, and we have our own rules and regulations. So if if Ed is doing that without the, getting the okay out of our uh, 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 organization, that's not right. Yeah, but you know, whatever. Well, no, no, it's not right. Uh, I was president of this place, and I fought hard to get everything right here. And if somebody is coming up with an idea like that without, uh, you know, asking somebody, it's not fair. It is not fair as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, but... We had two, two dumb guys uh, uh, renting here the other day, 
and they were knocking on people's doors asking for money for cigarettes and everything. And everybody was so frightened of them. They didn't know where they came from, who they were. They were just, they just were moved in by the bank. And they just moved out the other day. And believe me, everybody says, thank God, they're gone. Because they were two weirdos. They'd be sitting on a, on a front lawn, laying on a lawn in the rain, smoking cigarettes. And I says, what's wrong with these guys? Are they crazy or something? Well, and they, did, they just moved away the other day. They're probably just enjoying nature, you know? They're just they're free spirits out there hanging out, laying out in the lawn, having a smoke. Now, now one, one other like thing, good old before days. you go any further... Uh, uh, whose approval did you get from to have this thing done? Uh, well, Ed, Ed's the main guy. Ed, Ed said, "Yeah, that sounds like a great idea." Ed, and there is no, there's nobody Ed in in. Uh, uh, I know all the presidents and all the people. I don't know where where who who you're talking about. Ed, who? Do you know Steve Dave? Who? Do you know Steve Dave? No. Yeah. Well, you know things have changed. There, there's uh, new people coming in, going out, but yeah, I don't need approval for shit. I just, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just a go-getter. I'm a loose cannon around here. I'm just like, you know what? We'll just put those Somalian refugees over in Richard's lawn, or in uh, Henry's lawn. Uh, Richard wouldn't stand for it, so we decided no, to. I, put I, in well, I won't lawn. stand for it either because yeah. uh, I'm afraid that if somebody's going to hurt my daughter. And my daughter what? is my pride and joy, no. and she's my caregiver. And when people stop her on the street and say they want money for cigarettes and everything, we have to no. really complain about that. The Somalians don't and, smoke. Uh, and, and, I, and, I, I, I'm sorry, but I, I still can't understand who gave you the permission to do that. Somebody in this phase, I, am, I was president of phase one. We have eight phases here in Andover. Mm. And you'd have to get the okay from all eight phase presidents for them to do something. Oh, don't be do, silly. For you to suit them. Don't don't be silly. We 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 just uh, we just uh, kind of just do it without asking, and they'll see what no, a good idea it is. No, 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 no. You can't do that. Is. You can't do that. You can't do that. It's against our regulations. I'm sorry, but it's against our regulations. Look, look, the because, Somalians, they're going to mow the lawn for free. They're going to make you dinner. I'm not like, interested. They're in They're going to be out there cooking. They're going to have a campfire. Uh, uh, I'm not interested in any of that. All I know is that some, you have to have the, uh, the permission to do something like that. You just can't go ahead and do it um, in God's way, because even God doesn't do that. God gets permission from his people oh, who pray to him. Come on. So, uh, do you think God like goes through all the phases and fills out paperwork and stuff? We're just being free spirits like those cigarette smokers. Out in the lawn. Well, I'm against it. I'm against it. Looking at the I'm, I'm stars. Sorry, I'm against it. Enjoying the rain uh, on their face. I, I'm against it. I'm sorry to say. Yeah, but, uh, but... Uh, uh, if, if you do something like that, I'm going to carry a loaded gun. And whoa, if somebody gets whoa, in my whoa. way, I'm going to shoot. Believe me. And I mean it. I'm a former Marine, and I was taught to kill first and ask questions whoa, later. Hey, 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 hey there. Come on. Settle down. We, we don't, no, no threatening to kill people and stuff. Well, if um, somebody's going to try to attack me, nope. I'm going to try to support, make sure he, he doesn't attack me or my no, daughter. No, nobody's attacking and anyone. I, I, we know who these people are. They're nice Somalians. I, I still don't understand how you got the right to do that from, some, from a, a whole agency where we pay our taxes, we pay everything. And to have somebody come in from this clear blue sky with other people, it's not right. It is not right. I'm sorry to say. So, and I don't want to carry any more conversation about this. So, and I'm going to check with my, my other uh, people here and, and find out why you're going to be doing something like this. And, I mean, uh, we don't want to have, it, have a, a lot of people going crazy around here all at once. What, so, no, uh, nobody's going crazy. Like, what do you, I don't see what the problem is. They're just nice Somalian people, like nice Somalian refugees, women and children and everyone. But, I know that. But, I know that. I, I fought for, for, for the people in Korea, and I came back safe and sound, and I have all, all the good feelings in the world for, for, for the, the Koreans. But I sure as hell don't have all the good feelings for the Chinese, because when I saw them, what the Chinese did, I said, uh, up to this date, I, w I worked for Chinese people, and I warned them. I said, look, I killed better Chinese than you, whoa. so you better just 
behave yourself. And uh, the guy brought me Chinese food the next day, apologizing and everything, because he was picking on the Americans. And nobody picks on an American, and nobody picks on a Marine, neither. So, uh, no, you, I, I don't I mean, understand. You, 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 you just can't pull things down out of the hat like that. You understand? You just can't do that. So, because it's not right to the people around here. So should I, I mean, mar- should I mark you down as a no then, and I'll just try Larry? I mark me down with a big no, the biggest no you can write. Well, no, there's ten foot high. There's no. Only, <laughs> come on, the paper's not that big. It's just a little checkbox. Oh, well, we're, I'm we're, telling you, it's it's big as far as I'm we're, concerned. We're basically we're just trying to bully someone into agreeing to it, so we can just do it, make our money, and um, I guess well, I guess you're saying I don't no. want to be bullied. And I um, I uh, pay my my full p- my, uh, money and everything here to have a place to live that's nice and peaceful and and uh, to bring people in that you don't know and don't tell me you don't know because you don't know oh, everybody well, has their own nice. way of thinking and everything so so how can you say that the people are going to be nice people how can you, well, you can't I mean assume. nobody can prove uh, uh, you know but but it's it, they're going to be in our way first of all. Because we've had a guy that thought he wanted to be a, a country singer, and at 3 o'clock in the morning, he used to play his radio full blast and play his guitar so that he can make believe that he's a country singer. We, had, we told him he couldn't do that. It, it was against the rules. Oh, that's but mean. he was told that he can do anything he wants. And I mean, so you're pulling the same rule, thing that you're doing anything you want, and you expect the people to uh, 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 go for that. No, I'm sorry to say no. You I'm probably, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You probably crushed That's his dreams of being a musician. Like, he, he may have, like, made it big, but then you had to come in and, and tell him to shut up. That was terrible. Well, no, no, we didn't tell him to shut up. We told him to, to behave because Basically. there's rules and regulations here, and he was going against all the rules and regulations. You should That's have... why you, 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 you get lawyers to take rules and regulations, and you follow rules and regulations. But to, to move people in out of the clear blue sky without anything, no, it's wrong. It is wrong. You know what I would have done? I would have just laid out in his lawn, smoked my cigarettes, and enjoyed the music while the rain hit my face. <laughs> Stared yeah, up at the well, stars. We, uh, we try to be nice. That's that's one thing. We try to be nice, but uh, uh, that's that's a new one on me. And uh, where this idea came from, I don't know who it was, but uh, I think you should have had a little bit more permission from the yeah. right people in order to do that. The white people. If, if, if you'd have got the right rule, if you got the right permission, I'd say okay, fine. But I don't know who you are. Well, and I've never met you. So how do I know who you are, whether, whether you're not lying to me over the telephone right now? Oh, no, really? I wouldn't lie. I'm a Christian. Uh-huh. Yep, I'm a Christian. And, yeah, you, it sounds like you just assume the worst about people. I bet these Somalians are really nice people. I bet you Larry will take them. I'm going to try Larry next, and Larry will I'll, I'll try and bully him into letting them in his yard, and I bet you he'll do it. Well, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I don't expect anybody to be coming in my yard and uh, doing anything uh, in my yard because we don't do anything in our yards. Around here, people don't have time to sit out in their yards. Yeah. People are either going to the doctors constantly or or dropping dead from being sick. So <laughs> there's not too many people that, uh-huh. that uh-huh. sit out in the lawns here or sit out in, their, in front of their garages and have uh, tea for two at uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. We don't do that on the street. You know and, the... uh, I can tell you right now, I'm here 20 years, and I know they never did that. And that nobody has ever done that. It's a new thing so, we're doing. Uh, and you know, they're probably you're probably going to hear their music because the Somalians love to play uh, Somalian music. It's like a religious thing that they do. Like late <laughs> at night, they they uh, play music to the moon. Uh, I, so, I I still think that you're pulling my leg. I still think you you're pulling my still, leg. Still, I did This is the first I've heard of this. You, you don't think I'm for real? What's that? What, why why would I be pulling your leg? That that wouldn't make sense. Well, well, because I don't know who you are. That's why. Okay? I mean, it would have been nice if you came and knocked on my door and said, can I talk with you? I would have said, yeah. I would have. I'm afraid to now. If you're talking talking over the telephone, I don't know anything about it. And right now, I am tied up here because I got a pile of junk in the middle of the floor. and I don't want somebody to get hurt in the house here right now. Pins and pencils, right? Well, all I know is that uh, if if you if you're going to do something like that, and if you got the okay, fine, I'm I'm all for it, really. 
You understand? Yep, yep. We're we're gonna we're gonna try and get Larry to do it. We'll try and uh-huh. fool him fool him into accepting. Who is who is Larry? Who who who, who are you talking about, Larry? I don't know anybody, Larry, uh, around here. He lives uh, way around the corner on the other side of the block. Uh huh. Yep. Good old well, Larry. I, I don't. Uh, Larry, all right, uh, Larry and Carol. Ed, let, let, let me have your name, please. Your 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 last name. Oh, I don't have a last name. Uh, I, I had it legally changed, so I just have uh, two first names. It's Steve Dave. What's that? Steve Dave. How, how do you spell that? Uh, it's uh, S. S is in C. T is in tsunami. E is in I. V is in five. E is in I. And then Dave. D is, uh-huh. D is in W. A is an R. Okay. Well, all right. Uh, like I say, uh, uh, I have to get off the phone now because uh, I, I got a lot of little things all over the place here, and I don't want my Pencils. daughter to trip and hurt, hurt herself. Yeah, yeah uh, that's true. So if you're going to do something like that, you know, all you have to do is, like I say, tell the people around here, and yeah. you'd see you'd, that people would say yes. But, you know, to, to the call out of the clear blue sky and say you're going to do it, that's kind of uh, selfish one way. And yeah, you okay. should be thinking a little bit more. If you're such a, such a good, uh, kind-hearted person, you should be thinking about not being that selfish to say that. Well, I'm just uh, thinking I'm telling of the you Somalians. From, from my feeling of it, that, and uh, that's the way it is. I'm just trying so to find I'm a place. I'm not going to fight you. Okay. I'm not going to fight anybody because I don't believe in fighting. I fought my the, for my country and I I won the war supposedly. Here we go again. And uh, but uh, for, for this to come up like that, it, I can't see it. I really yeah, can't. I just so if you want them over some, put them someplace else. Fine. There's a big big swamp out here. All I have to do is sit down by the swamp and it's nice and soft and tender, oh, and then have a nice place to sleep on the ground. Yeah, there's and, mosquitoes. And uh, I mean, uh, do do something like that. You know. I'm not ridiculing you or anything. I'm telling you the truth. Just, it's a nice area, which is a, a, a drainage ditch, and people sit alongside it, and they bring their lunches, and they smoke over there, and, and that's it. So if you're going to be doing that, fine. I mean, you know, do, do it. But uh, to be right in, on, on my backyard uh, or in my, my yard or while I'm coming home, no. I mean, I, my property is mine, <sighs> and I will fight anybody that gets in my way on no, my property. Come on. I'm we're, telling you right now. We don't need any fights around here. That's against the Homeowners Association rules. I just don't want them in... <laughs> which, which homeowner rules are you talking about? You don't know, do you? Because I do. I have them in my closet for, for the Homeowners Association. See, Homeowners Association and Man, is two you. different Activity. complete units. They are r- run differently, yeah. and by law they run differently and all. We have nothing to do with the Homeowners Association, and they have nothing to do with the association yeah, we're just trying I'm to bully you that? we're just trying to bully you though we're just trying to trick you into letting them stay in your yard because i don't want them in my yard so i'm going to try larry next and i bet you larry will do it oh uh, well and if you if you say so and that way the all, so. the all night drumming will be farther away from you but you won't get your well, your lawn mode for free i don't care about the lawn all right well, that don't bother me one bit they right? might they might come around and ask though uh-huh no, well, they better not ask and be in a way because I tell you, I, 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 I don't have a gun, but I'll go buy a gun and, hey, and uh, protect my wife, uh, my, my daughter, and myself. You, you, can't go around, you, much. you can't go around shooting Somalians. It's not cool. <laughs> just, I don't even know what a Somalian is. What, yeah. what nationality are they? Are they black, white, pink, purple? Oh, what? It doesn't matter. It's 2018, and we love everyone equally. But but really, you can't you can't just shoot someone just for offering to mow your lawn. Jeez, come on, settle down. Well, well, why should somebody want to cut our lawn when when we have a lawn service that we pay for out of our our monthly fee to have it done? Why should we give it to somebody else? So we'd save money that way. We'll, we'll save money. Uh, well, they're not interested in saving money. No, for they're me, just interesting. They're only interested so in minding their up. own business. Okay. I, I don't even know who Larry is. You know, we live here 
for 19 years in this uh, this house, and I don't know who my next door neighbors are because they they bring people in here, they rent people to uh, houses from all over the the United States, and nobody introduces anybody here. So we're all one person in each house, and we want to stay that way because people don't knock knock on people's doors and come running here with the uh, food and welcome uh, things because we tried being welcome people, and we were told by our president at the time they don't believe in having any welcome committees, period. See? I'm telling you what 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 the God's honest truth is that around here we don't have that. We don't do that. Oh my god, I just want to hang up. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh it was nice talking to you, Ed. Uh good luck with your your venture. All I'm right? Steve Dave. Steve Dave. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Not Ed. I'm not Ed. Who's Ed? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, show's over everyone. I was on the phone with him for 20 minutes. Okay, yeah, so I, I didn't get around to say anything about the bed or the the vibrator, I guess. I mean, come on, he's going into a, a nursing home. He, he, he killed a bunch of Chinese for our country. I can't be mean to him. What, I can't, like, talk to him about vibrators and stuff. I mean, I thought we'd get through this entire list today, but oh my god. Not anymore. We're an hour into the show already. Or, I guess... 40 minutes, maybe. I played all that music. Hello, we are not available now. He's going to be ranting to his daughter all night about the Chinese and the Somalians and how things were when he was the the big wig at the Homeowners Association. This person is selling a plush, plush, swiveling, reclining chair, perfect for a large, tall person. Ninety dollars. Delivered within the community. Call. Hello. Hello, Richard. Yes. Hey, it's uh, Steve Dave. I was calling about that plush, swiveling, reclining chair, perfect for a larger, tall person. Where what? are you at? I'm here in the community. This this is Steve Dave. Oh, are you are you from? Yeah. Do you do you golf or anything? Yeah, what, what do you mean? Like what? What? I, I'm Henry. Well, I'm Henry. Have... Yeah, you know Henry. He's my neighbor, the guy with all the Somalian tents in his yard. With all the what? Uh, Somalian tents. Uh, the homeowners association they uh, moved some Somalians into the neighborhood. You know Henry? No. I'm ah. Sorry. No. Yeah. No, like, the only reason I'm asking is because I seen him at seven two four and it said Greensburg because I'm from Lake Trobe. Oh, no, that's just my cell phone. Yeah, it's my yeah. my cell number. I used to live in whatever you said, but now I'm here. Oh, well, I I'm down here for, yeah. Yeah. For uh, what? For okay. what? Tell yeah, me I for got what? That chair. I I tell you it's, it's a really comfortable chair. I just uh I had it for a long time. It, there's not a damn thing wrong with it. Um it's very comfortable. I just decided to get a different kind of chair. Uh, I got one with a footrest. I mean, it, that thing uh, reclines and everything has a footrest and everything, but I just got something different. I but see. yeah. Um, $90. So what else? You, yeah. What color is it? It's a tan. Tan? Okay. That's all right, I guess. Is it paintable? Is, yeah, is it, it goes is, with everything. Tan goes with everything. That's why I, but I could paint it, I though. Water, that's is it for fat people? Is it for fat people or just tall people? <laughs> uh, don't laugh at me for being it, fat. It's very I, roomy. You can be heavy, but uh, I'm tall. I'm six three. Yeah. And when I bought it, they uh, they said, "Well, I was looking at some, and I noticed the difference in some chairs when you sit in them. That, I don't know how tall you are, but when you sit in them, they're just not. Uh, <laughs> they didn't feel right to me, and they took me to these bigger chairs." Yeah, and I'm not big. I'm, I'm like 200 pounds, 198 pounds, and uh, uh, six three. So scrawny. Yeah, you're scrawny. Yeah, I'm gonna so, be uh, starting a. a interested, you can. I, I'm basically what I want to do is I want to start a hair cutting business out of my garage, here in the neighborhood. Uh, I'm gonna kind of do it under the radar, so I didn't want to bring a bunch of stuff in and have them notice. So if I could come over like after dark. 
and pick it <laughs> pick it up and just kind of sneak it over because you know those homeowner people they're watching us all the time Do you well know? yeah and i'd be i'd be real surprised if you know cars park in your place they might start because i got a neighbor that was he was working on um oh those boards that you go out in the ocean and you you stand on it. Old man story yeah. mode activated. Mm-hmm, yeah. And he was working on a lot of them. And uh, he, I guess uh, somebody in my neighborhood started bitching at him. They didn't know whether he was doing it as a business. But he had a mess over there. And somebody did say something. So yeah. anyhow. You can come over here. Yeah. You know what? Uh, like if you give me a discount on the chair, I can give you a discount on your first 10 haircuts. <laughs> uh, well, where are you wanting to pay for the chair? I don't know, like five bucks, maybe. Are you are you wasting my time? No, as long as I can stay in business, as long as the homeowners association doesn't found, find out that I'm doing haircuts out of the garage, because I was doing dentistry mm. work out of the garage a couple of years ago, and they put a stop to that. But they, you were doing what? Dentistry. I, I was a dentist, like a freelance dentist. Really? But wow. I think I was just using like a regular chair from the dining room for that, and it didn't work that well. Does this one, <laughs> this one doesn't, does it recline? Yeah. Okay. Swivels, it reclines. Cool. Cool. I was thinking if I could get it to recline then, because I'm short, so I could like stand behind mm-hmm. the chair after I recline it and cut their hair that way. Wait a minute. This is a cloth chair. This isn't leather. Yeah, I'm going to paint it. And it's the paint will. How are you going to paint a cloth chair? Uh, just with fabric paint. Are you legit here or what? Of course. Of course. Are you really serious about this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm completely. <laughs> I'm completely serious. I don't know why you would think I'm not serious. Because you're going to paint a cloth chair with fabric paint. There's such thing as fabric paint. Okay. Yeah, and that way it'll seal it up, and that way it won't get as much hair stuck in it. Fabric paint's a thing, bozo. Uh, yeah. Now you're calling me a bozo. I'm just saying, you like you're you're trying to tell me I can't paint a chair. I know how to paint a chair. I don't. I never heard of it. That's the only reason I said that. Okay. Well, I don't want to get off on the wrong foot because I'd like you to give me a discount and then I can give you free haircuts or not free, but you know, discounted. I can give you a couple of dollars discount, but how long to give it to? You? Five bucks. Um. And I already have a barber. Uh, how much is your barber ch- charge? Because he's got like a overhead, you know, he's got to pay for a shop and everything. I just gonna do that nah, in my garage. Let's not talk about that. I'm I got a barber. I like him. Why are you gonna snitch on me? No, I'm not gonna snitch on you. Buy the chair. You do whatever you want. I don't care okay. What you do. Well, I, like last time, I was doing dental work. It was going great. A couple of years ago, and then someone told told on me on the homeowners association. I can't understand how you could do dental work in your garage. It was hard. Because you had the machines and everything? I, I, you know those antique machines like with the foot pedal? Like you see in uh, museums and stuff? Yeah. I was using those, but I hooked up my, I wasn't using the foot pedal like I'm a caveman. I, was, I hooked up my power drill to it, and I was just, it would spin it around that way to the cable. Okay. And yeah, I was, I was doing fillings. I did a root canal once. Did all kinds of dental work, and it was going great. I just read textbooks and looked on the web, on the World Wide Web. Yep, used tequila. Gave people, <laughs> gave people okay. tequila. And, now, you want this chair or not? Yes. Uh, how much would I be paying for it um, if we take your uh, discounted haircuts into... Like, you never told me how um, much you, ch- you want- pay... I don't want a haircut, first of all. Why not? Second of all, if you want your chair, I'll give it to you for 80 bucks. That's, that's the best I can do. 80? Come on. Like, like, no. I, like, how much do you pay for your haircuts? Um, don't worry about how much I pay for my haircuts. I got a barber. I don't want somebody else going out of their garage. I don't, I don't do that stuff. Oh, well, maybe you but should you try it. You do whatever you want, and you, your clients, whatever, whoever your clients may be, that's, that's up to them. But it's not me. Maybe you should knock it before you try it, because you, you might end up liking how I cut hair look, better. Because, I mean, if I could do dentist work... Look, I, I just gave you an answer, okay? I'm not going to stand here and talk to you on the phone. How about $35? So you want... 
You know what? You're wasting my time. Because I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna paint it. I mean, shit. If if I have to paint it, that that should be worth something, right? <laughs> Cody name says fifty plus half a bag of chips. I regret jumping. Wants me to offer him some new dentures. Hello. Okay, so I'll pay eighty dollars for it, but you have to pay me eighty dollars for your first haircut. <laughs> That's a no, I guess. Hey, wants me to tell the next person I got my taxes back, so I want to pay extra. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. I got to do that for something, you know. I got to do that some. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna try that on this one. Hello. Hello. I'm calling about that um, glass top table with stools. I, I think you got the wrong number. Maybe. No. No, it's right here. It's. It's got your number on it. It's uh, are you I, you're are, calling from a a Dallas phone number? I think so. I I don't know. I'm calling from my cell phone number, but um, what you don't have like a, a whitewash rattan table with stools and a thirty inch? Yes, I do. Why do you think I have the wrong number then? Well, because you're um. It was a two one four number, like that's from Texas. Oh yeah, but I live here in the area. I just I'm originally from Texas, and I just kept the number oh, okay. when I moved. Well, because I have a two one four number too, oh. and I get a lot of wrong r wrong numbers. Oh, with phone number. Yeah, so. that's weird. Yeah, yeah. No, we have that. We have that piece. Okay, uh, you still have it. Yes. Is the price negotiable? You know what? My wife put it on there, and I don't even know what price she put on it. What she put on it? Um, well, she put one seventy-five. Well, I tell you what, it was like eight hundred dollars. Oh, okay, that sounds it. good. We the, yeah, we we actually even have the invoice where we bought it. I'll pay six hundred. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't want six hundred. But oh no, it's it's cool. Uh, I got my taxes back. Um, just uh, yeah. ye yesterday, I got my tax check. My my check from the IRS. Yeah. So, I have, so are like, you going to be available in the morning? Yeah, I have all this money bur burning a hole in my pocket. I'll pay six hundred bucks. You can come by and have a look at it. Yeah, for six hundred, is is it a deal? I'll pay six hundred instead of one seventy five. Well, I don't know why you'd offer that. Why would you offer that? Because I just got my my taxes back. You know, I, I got like I got like over um, over twenty five hundred for my taxes. So That's I just awesome. Yeah, yeah, I got a lot of tax money and worked hard for it and you everything. Where, where, what city do you live in? Uh, here in uh, I'm I'm in the I'm I live in Highland Lakes. I saw it on the uh, the homeowners association. Oh. yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm right okay. here. No, I don't want six hundred for it. But if you want to come by, look at it tomorrow. Okay, five hundred. It's That's a little late tonight. My last offer, five hundred. Do you want to come see it? Yeah, I'd like to. Can I come tonight? No. Why not? It's not even that late. It's only eight thirty. It just gets dark earlier now. Yeah. No, I'm not. I can't. Uh, it's it's a uh, it's that daylight that damn daylight savings thing. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? No, I'm not even home. So. Seven hundred dollars. Are you sure you're not home? Because I hear those really irritating kids in the background. Could you tell them to shut up? <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Where are you at? Where are you at? I'm I'm at home. I'm just. I was hoping I could get this tonight for six hundred. Because you said she paid eight hundred. Like, don't you want to? Like, are you just bad with your money or something? Yeah, we're terrible. That's why we're trying to sell it. We're uh, we're upside down on our house. You're about to what? Nothing. No. You, you know you really you. If you want to come see it, call me tomorrow. Why not tonight? What are you doing tonight? Nothing that you want to know about. Thanks for calling. Uh, sir, come on. Come on. Come on. Robert. That was fun. I like how confused he was <laughs> about the offering extra money. That was a great idea.
Thanks, hey. I think I might try that again. Let's see what else we've got here. I'm confused about the area codes, because um, cause we've got a 760, 760, 760. Okay, so it must be... Okay, so just the last one is North Carolina. I mean, North Dakota for some reason. So I will make my number 760. I won't make that Dallas mistake again. By the way, everyone, sorry about your uh, feeds and email notifications and stuff if you follow phone losers. I fucked up with the syndication stuff again. I made a bunch of posts come in. I posted a, an explanation of it on phonelosers.org. It's the second time I've done it in the past couple of months. I'm a big dummy. And yes, Nunu, I agree. Rest in peace, KDK. Uh, Carlito gave us confirmation a couple days ago that KDK is dead. And um, just like the pioneer KDK has always been, I think he's the first prank caller to die. Like, I can't think of anyone else that's died. That, you know, specifically related to prank calls. KDK is the first. Carlito says he's going to do a uh, tribute show soon for KDK. That's kind of cool. I bet you he'll do that this, this coming week. Regulation pool table for 500 bucks. Whoa there wants me to just ask, I, I guess ask, wait, just name different types of wood? You guys, give me a bunch of types of woods, quick. Hello. Hey, John. Yes. I'm calling about the pool table. Oh, okay. Is it regulation? Yes. Uh, is it made of wood? Yes. Is it mahogany? No, uh, no, I don't think so. Is it maple? It's it's kind of a maple color, yeah. Oh, but the, but the actual wood, what kind of wood is it? Is it pine? Uh, gosh, I don't know all those answers. Is it sycamore? <laughs> you just you just have to look at it. Is if it, you want to see it. But is it sycamore? I don't know. Is it birch? <laughs> you got me. Is it I, is it hickory? I don't know. Is it cherry? <laughs> Might be. Redwood? No, I don't think so. It's not very red. Morning? A doubtful. Uh, driftwood? <laughs> Can't you think any more? Pine? <laughs> Cherry? I don't know. I didn't buy it new, so I don't know what they called it. Yeah, but you have it there, so you should know what kind of wood it is. Is it palm tree? Is how, it, how am I supposed to know what kind of wood it is, is by looking at it? Is it bubinga? I, I, I'm not. I'm not familiar with all those. Can you get a screwdriver? I can show you how to test. We're gonna have to. Huh? We're gonna have to chip into the wood and take some samples. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Is it plywood? Yeah, that's probably it. Is it bonsai? I'm. I'm busy with dinner. I'm sorry. Is, I'll talk to you is later. Is it balsa wood? Sounds like he's busy watching TV at full volume. Holy shit, the chat room just like scrolled away with like wood sample suggestions. Ghost wood, plastic wood, <laughs> bush root, shrimp soup, Chinese wood, <laughs> ebony wood. Okay, um, I, I'm gonna call back and offer more money hello hey um forget the wood type um could i buy that though is five hundred dollars firm yes uh-huh uh how firm is it? it it's firm would you take i started out at 1500 so i think five is is the lowest i'm gonna go would you take 800 though <laughs> Now you've been silly. No, I'm not being silly. I just got my tax money back from the yeah. IRS. And, and if you got money to throw away, I'll take a thousand. Um, will you take eleven hundred? Like, how much did you pay for it originally? <laughs> Twenty-four hundred. Oh wow, uh, that'd be all of my money. Um, I could do like nineteen hundred because I still have to pay rent, you know. 
Yeah, I've got stuff burning on the stove. You're you're gonna have to call back later. Um. Well, you uh, no. If you let it burn, <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> I was going to say, if you sit on the phone and let that, that shit burn, give you $2,100. Whoa, there's like firm as in pine, firm as in balsa. I should have been watching the chat room. Stupid me. Okay, I'll delete him, I guess. Ah, good times. All right. Uh, patio set includes table, four chairs with cushions and umbrella. 75 bucks. I'm supposed to call Bernadette. Redbox wants me to offer uh, $20,000 to the next person. <phone rings> Ask if it's flammable. Hello? Hey, I'm calling about that um, that thing you put up for sale, that patio set. Yes. Is it flammable? What do you mean flammable? <laughs> like if I... Hey, will it go on? <laughs> well, yeah, like can I set it on fire? You can do anything you want to do if you want to set it on fire. I know, I'm but saying. well, hey, don't don't get an attitude with me, lady. I'm I'm just like I want to know like if it's metal or if it's wood. It's it's metal. Okay, so it won't I can't set it on fire then. You're you're lying to me. <laughs> well, it has cushions, so I didn't know what you were getting at. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I was hoping for something out of wood because I want to set the whole thing on fire in my backyard and film it. Oh, okay. Well, that's not going to work then. Thank you anyway. I guess I could pour lighter fluid on it though, right? You could do that. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I still want to buy it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what kind of metal? All right, Tim Riggy wants me to ask if uh, dogs can be <laughs> sewn into the cushions. Hi, you've reached Bernadette. Please leave a message. Balls. I, I think Hay um, wanted me to remind everyone to go to kickstarter.com right now and type in Phone Losers of America and look at the PLA coin and go support the PLA coin. It's only got like uh, 19 days left, I think. 20 or 19 or 18, something like that. You got tons of time left to support the PLA coin. But it's definitely happening. You know, we've met our goal and everything. Coins are happening. I've got the uh, the people working on it already. Hopefully they'll they'll uh, you know make the coins before I send them all the money, so you guys don't have to wait forever. Nautical says to remember that Henry is going to buy a gun. Watch out, Somalians! If you go into that neighborhood, or if you're going into that neighborhood to like you know smoke cigarettes and lay in the grass. Like, those people aren't normal. You're supposed to be inside the house, not outside the house. I, I didn't kill the Chinese for this. Okay, so I have not been incorporating nearly enough homeowners association into these calls. I'm just doing, like, normal ads and stuff. We can't have that. I have to be the homeowners, homeowners association. This first one, uh, this is all a bunch of HOAs in Ohio. Um, the first one says, if you need jewelry designed for a particular outfit or have a design you want me to put together called Janet. That sounds like she's running an illegal business on homeowners association property. And she needs to uh, submit all of her paperwork to me and give us 20%. That's what she has to do. We're gonna tell. We're gonna show Jana how things work around here. Hello. Hello, Janet. Yeah. Hey, it's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Oh yeah, yeah. How are you doing tonight? Okay. That's good. Don't ask how I'm doing or anything though. Um, hey, we noticed you put an ad up uh, about designing jewelry for outfits. Like custom jewelry? Uh, yes, um, I do that. How are you anyway? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's too late now. The, I'm you, kidding. Mr. Yeah, I know. Mr. I'm screwed to that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do that. Um, yeah, so we noticed you haven't been sending in your uh, your homeowners uh, percentages, the the fees. You know, the you're supposed to send us 20% of whatever you make. Have you just not had any sales Is that yet? right? 
Yeah, yeah, it's a rule. Nobody, nobody told me. Huh, nobody told me that. Yep, yep. It's how it's always been around here. If you if you're uh, running a business out of your home, you have to send huh. us a cut. Or if you're selling things on Craigslist right. or selling your car, right? We get twenty percent. <laughs> selling your selling your car. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm serious. Like you, you have to cut us in. If you want to live around here, you you have to um, give us a twenty percent cut. How come only twenty percent? Uh, because that seems fair. I mean, you're using yeah, you're using our pro- like our properties and our roads and all that stuff. Yeah. We gotta we gotta pay for things here. It's your dues. That's interesting. You're being kind of loud there in the background. It's very rude. Oh, sorry. What are you making? Macaroni? I am. No. <laughs> no, not at this hour of the night. What are you making then? Um, actually cleaning out my CPAP machine. Your what machine? CPAP, you know? No. You breathe with. Oh, that old night. thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Well, it doesn't seem like you're taking this whole jewelry thing too seriously. Well, I haven't been doing it for a long time. Oh, sure you haven't. How convenient. <laughs> Gotta give your. Hey, where should I send my money? Let me have the address and the. I just bring it by the office. Out. Just come by the office with it. Oh, there's an office now. We have an office. Well, you know, um, Steve's house. Ah, oh, Steve's house. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Over there, you know, around the corner. Gotcha. From where you are. Okay, will do. Okay. What kind of jewelry do you make? All right. Well, anything. I specialize in glass beads, and I do wood and all kinds of stuff. Are you what able, are you looking for? Are you able to bedazzle things? No, not a bedazzler. Ah, shoot. I want, I want to get my car done. <laughs> you want to get your car bedazzled? Yes. Bring it over. Maybe I can do it. Who knows? Well, you just Maybe I'll you... only charge you the 20% that I owe the HOA. Oh, no, no. You'll just, you'll just pay your regular amount, but then you'll have to also give me a 20% discount. Got, oh, a 20% discount. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's just how it would work because I'm, I'm with the HOA. Yeah. You're on the board. Yep, that's me. Yep. I've seen you at meetings. Probably, yeah. Could you bedazzle a bong? Yeah. A bong. Now, that'd be interesting. It would look awesome. I, I, it's a, I have to charge you extra to fill it. Fill it with what? Fill it with what? Fill it with what? That's what I asked. Oh. <laughs> so, I'm getting an echo here. Oh, that's weird. Are you sure you're not just high or yeah. something? Me? I'm just asking. You're the one with the ball. I don't hear an echo. Well, I'm not smoking right now. I'm I'm doing serious business right here. Oh, you're looking for something to go in your bong. That's your no on the bong, business. like like you know, just uh, jewels and stuff to put on the bong itself. Gotcha. That's all. You're you're offering to sell well, me weed. Give me your telephone number. Why are you offering give me to your s- telephone number? It's it's on your caller ID. It's, um, oh, okay. But why are you uh, out How for... about if I call you back and... Call me back when? What? In the morning? Why in the morning? It's not that late. Because I'm trying to get... I'm getting stuff ready to bed. It's after 9 o'clock. Ah. Uh, well, it's not, I guess. Isn't it? What is it? Like 8.10? Or is it 9.10? All I know is it's Tuesday. Oh, it is 9.10. Yeah. It's after okay, nine. Time you get ready for bed. Change my clock. But no, look, I'm serious. Were you offering to sell me weed because I have been looking for a new person? <laughs> I don't have any connections. Well, you offered to fill it up or something. What were you saying? Well, I could bedazzle it, fill it up with jewels. Well, no, you don't put them inside the bong, silly. You, you put oh, them on the outside. On the outside. Well, I, I don't have that much experience with Durr. the bong. Well, hey, if you bedazzle my bong, I you can I'll pay you by we'll, we'll smoke together. Oh, so, yeah. 
so you do have a bong. Yeah, I do. I, I just need to get it bedazzled because it's boring. It's just like it's it's just clear and yellowish. It's gross. The bedazzle hold the yellowing, and I won't have to clean it as much. Gotcha. Yep. That probably cost about a couple grand. What? Just a bedazzle? bedazzle bong? It's not that big of a bong. Yeah. Well, you know, sounds like a lot of work. You can bring it by. I'll help out. Can you I give? What? Can I give you a couple thousand dollars of weed? I don't have any weed. No, I, I'll give you a couple thousand dollars of weed. What am I going to do with weed? Smoke it. Or cook it. I'm like sure cook my it. brother, the cop, would appreciate that. Oh, it's cool. It's legal now, isn't it? I think it's legal. Uh, not that I've seen. I've seen it on TV where they're trying to get it legal. but Yeah, see, they're, they're not going to care. Nobody cares. We could, um, All right, we could cook some. So. We could make some marijuana macaroni. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. Why not? Sounds good to me. Macaroni with pot in it, sure. Okay, it's a deal. One bedazzling okay, when for you gonna, a macaroni. When are you bringing it? Uh, tomorrow or tonight. Why not tonight? Um, well, that'd be okay. Tonight? Yeah. Okay. I'm bringing my bong. Okay. You said you don't have bedazzling Bring stuff, though. Oh, I could do something with some jewels. I've got lots of jewels. Okay. I bet you do. Wink, wink. <laughs> this isn't a trick, right? You're not going to have your brother cop waiting there for me? No, my brother's not here, but the man of the house is here. Oh, okay. Well, is he going to leave us alone? Because I don't want him hanging around. That's weird. <laughs> He'd answer the door. I'm sh- okay, but then he'd go off and just like leave us alone, right? Because I, I don't want him like creeping around. I, I doubt it. He likes to talk and uh, everything. Forget it. Forget it. Sorry. Yeah, he's was, one of those. I was hoping for some alone time. Nah. Uh, can I talk to him real quick? Um. Yeah. Hold on a second. Uh, okay. Is he okay with cuck holding? What do I say? Oh, why? Why why would she just hang up? Did she hear me ask what what should I say? <laughs> well, she was fun, but unfortunately that was kind of a boring prank. I thought she was just lonely or something like I could let me come over tonight and stuff. Uh, massage chair for sale, asking six hundred dollars. Call Rita or uh, call Rita if interested. I wonder if the massage chair gives happy endings. All right, you've got it, Tim Riggy. I'm gonna ask if I can rent it for one hour. She has to let me rent it for one hour because I'm the home- homeowners association. Hi, you've reached Rita. Balls. Okay, one more try. Rita's got to pick up this time. So the next one is, um, the next three are weird ones. I, I really want to do Tim Riggie's idea now. I want to rent whatever they have for one hour, like toaster oven, but that's on the next one. You know what? I'm just going to skip ahead. Fuck it, you know? Because the remaining ones on there, it was like Mary Kay Cosmetics, uh, dog walking services, and then a bizarre one about they lost their homeowner's security card. I'm determined to rent something for an hour now. It's all Tim Riggie's fault. Hello. Hello, Larry? Yeah. Hey, I'm calling about that uh, computer desk. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm actually calling you from the Homeowners Association here. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just need to rent it um, for just uh, an hour, maybe two hours, and then I'll bring it right back. Rent it? Yeah, I'm just going to take it with me and... and like it's still there, right? Yeah, but it's too big to move and rent. No, it's cool. It's like we've got it all taken care of. Um, Roger has a truck. We're just gonna come over and just. No, I'm not. I'm not, gra- not going to rent it for. 
I'd have to move stuff off. It's just not worth messing around. Oh, no, around, no. But... I'm, I'm not asking. I'm not asking. We're just going to come and just borrow it. We're the Homeowners Association, so we're allowed. No, you're not. Yeah, uh-huh. it's in the terms for when you listed it on that website. Well, we we just need to borrow. You're it. not going to come over. You're not going to come over here and borrow my desk. No, just we'll just period. be we'll be right there, like in in just twenty minutes. No, you're not. I got to get. Ro- I'm not going to move all. The, I'm not going to move all that stuff for your convenience. You can. You you're, you're not going to use it. You, you got just, that? You can just put all the stuff on the floor, and then we'll come right back tonight not, around midnight. I'm not going to mess around with it for your convenience. Find a table. No, we're entertaining guests tonight. We need Good, a desk. Goodbye. We, we really need this. Larry, come on. <sighs> Larry's going to get a fee. Larry's just asking for a fee. Go ahead. Listen, Larry, we, we, we just need to rent it just for one hour. One hour tops. I am not, not going to mess around with something for one hour. I know I said f- until midnight, but it's just going to be one hour. And I, I am not going to mess around moving all that stuff off Look, I'm, I'm not Taking asking. Taking it out of the shed. I'm not asking. And moving it back in. I'm not asking it's you. It's not going to happen. I'm telling you. It's look, not going to happen. Okay, look, we'll rent it for an Goodbye. hour. No, look, Larry, I've got a plan. <laughs> that's a great idea Tim Riggy. on that one I want to rent one more thing let me figure out what the area code is on this one <laughs> I love this ad I have a large bush and it needs trimming <laughs> if you know what I mean that's like seriously the first sentence is I have a large bush <laughs> Okay, next, I have a large bush, and it needs trimming due to the frost we had this winter. Please contact me if you can be of assistance. Uh, what, what the hell do I say to this? Hello? Hi there, I'm just calling about your large bush. My large bush? Yes. <laughs> it says here on the ad that you have Oh, a- yeah. No, I I had somebody do it already. I'm sorry. Oh, did you? I, well, Bougainvillea you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. I'm with the Homeowners yeah. Association here. Oh, no. I already got that taken care of. Oh, okay. So it looks okay then? Yes. It's all trimmed. Are you, are you somebody that trims it? Is that what you do? No, we um we have a snow, uh, we have a uh, a plow, like uh, one of those tractor caterpillar things. We were just going to come over and like run it out out of the ground, like run it over. You've got the wrong person. No, it says you have a large bush. (laughs) I have a large bougainvillea that I put on our local website that said I wanted to find somebody that would trim my bougainvillea. Yeah. But that's not the same thing. No. So you you did get your bush trimmed then? It's already trimmed, and I'm all set. Thank you very much. Because we were going to come over with the uh, the caterpillar, the plow, and just, just... no. Run it Thank out you. of the ground. No. We can still do no, it. No, that's not, that's not what I needed. Thank I've got you. The Goodbye. Pl- I've got the plow right here, ma'am. <laughs> I wanted to plow her bush. I love how she laughed at that. <laughs> at <first>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tim Ricky wants me to tell her that the bush trimmings came back from DNA testing and it's a direct descendant of Hitler. But I think she's not going to pick up now. Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. All right. No no more with the large bush, I guess. Uh, porcelain dolls. Lots of goodbyes. If interested, call Michael or Mary for a porcelain doll. Hello. Hello. Is this Michael? Speaking. Hey, Michael. I'm calling about the porcelain dolls. Okay. Um, how many do you have there? Oh, Christ, how many is in those pictures? Pick- um, hold on. I got to I'm, I'm actually calling from the, uh, the Homeowners Association here at the, the village. Okay. Yep, this is Steve Dave. About at least 20, probably. 20, okay. Uh, we're just going to need to rent five of them. Uh, we, but we don't want to pay anything. We're just going to borrow five of them from you just for an hour, and then we'll bring them back tonight. 
Well, I don't know about that. I don't know who you are. Oh, this is Steve Day from the Homeowners yeah. Association. I, how, how do I know that? I'll That's sh- true. I'll show you my, like, just look on the, the website. My, my name's in there. My picture's in there. I'll show you my ID. What's your name? Steve Dave. But, um, yeah. What's, it, what's the website? What's, what's the website? You, you know where the website is. Just Google it. You'll see me. Steve Dave. But, yeah, we're just going to rent them for about an hour, and then, and then we'll bring them right back who, just for the night. Who is this? This is Steve Dave. And we're, we don't want to buy any. We're just gonna just just take five of them, and we're gonna rent them. Like we're what? You we're, what? At nine. Uh, can you speak up? I can't hear you. At nine thirty at night, what are you gonna do with them for an hour? Uh, we're entertaining guests, and um, I, it just I think it'd be a good theme theme type thing for the party. But you're not invited tonight. I, yeah, tonight. You're not a, no, I ain't doing this tonight. Yeah, yeah, tonight. It'll, it'll just be for an hour. No, I'm not. It, it's just, we're going to No, have... I'm, I'm not. No, well, you don't understand. It's 930. I'm not going to go open up boxes in the garage, go open up boxes, and by the time you get here, 10 o'clock, I ain't going to do that tonight. Not, I live here in the neighborhood. I'll, in the daytime. I'll be right over, and, and we'll just use them tonight. No, I'm, that's okay. L- don't just, don't bother, because just, it's not going to happen. Just just uh, get them, uh, the boxes, and set them out on the porch, and I'll just pick them up. You don't even it's have to. It's not going to happen. And then you after, understand what I'm af- saying? After the party's over, then I'll bring them back and set you them on the porch. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hey, don't it's talk. It's not going to Goodbye. Don't talk to me don't like that. Don't I'm, trouble I'm, my front porch either. I'm with the homeowners association. Don't talk to me like that. Should I call back? I love this whole renting idea. Tim Riggy says uh, 9:30 is prime time when it comes to dolls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nautical says send in the Somalis. <laughs> That's what he gets. Hello. Hey, um, look, I'll give you a dollar a piece. One dollar a piece for the rental. For... No, what part of it's not happening? Well, do I, you not understand. I wasn't asking. I wasn't asking to do it. I was telling you, I'm going to come over and get them because I'm in the homeowners association. I'm telling you, you come over here, you're going to get your ass whooped. Oh no, I won't. You can't do that. That's against the rules for the homeowners association. <laughs> no, no violence. There ain't no homeowners association here. Goodbye. Yeah, there is. What does he mean? There's no homeowners association. Now we ought to send a pizza to his house. He'll go out there and kick the pizza guy's ass. I should call him back. I'm, I'm coming. I'm going to be dressed in my pizza uniform. You'll see. All right. Uh, massage chair. I, okay. I'm going to try the massage chair just one more time because that's in this uh, same list that I'm getting ready to do. There's three of these here. Uh, dog walking or dog sitting services. I can help. Living in your home while you're away is also a service that I provide. Wow, she provides a service that she lives in their homes. I am bonded. I'm a non-smoker. Her name is Linda. What if my home's on the space station? Wonder if she'd do that. Walk your parrot. Okay. What if I have a ghost dog? Hello? Hey, Linda? 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 Hello? Can you hear me? This is Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Hello? I know you're there because you said hello before you went silent. That was weird. The hell, Linda? Hello? Hey, Linda, what happened before? I don't know. I, I Nobody was there. I thought you were a telecaller. Oh, no, no. I'm from the Homeowners Association. This is Steve Dave. Okay. How are you doing tonight? Okay, good. That's great. Uh, I was calling about your dog walking services. Or dog sitting. Um, yeah. What is your name? Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Steve what? Steve Dave. 
And I'm, I'm just mentioning I'm from the Homeowners Association for the uh, required yeah. discount. See, I didn't get the last name. Oh, I don't have a last name. It's just Steve Dave. It's like two first names put together, Steve Dave. Steve Dave? Uh, Steve Dave. D- Can you spell it? Um, sure. S is in C. Yeah, S is in C. T is in thesaurus. E is in I. V is in five. E is in essay. And then uh, Dave, like D is in W, A is in R, V is in five, and um, E is in okay. u- eulogy. Oh, Steve Dave. Yeah, yeah. Steve Yeah. Dave. I do a couple of people's um, dogs or cats in the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. And um, if you have a dog or a cat? It's a dog. Um, he actually died a couple years ago. Okay. So he's a ghost dog. I know that sounds weird, but he's still around and still likes to go for walks, but I don't have time because I work a lot. So would that be something you could do, like walk a ghost dog? Walk a ghost dog? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, don't laugh at my I don't ghost know. dog. Where do you live? I'm around. I'm kind of like way down the street from you, but around the corner. I'm here in the neighborhood, though. What street do you live on? The the main one. the The main one through like through uh, the where the entrance is. I'm way over there yeah, by the entrance. Street? What street is it? Well, what's it matter? Like, do, do you discriminate against certain streets? Well, I'm thinking if you don't know the street that you live on and asking me to walk a ghost dog, it sounds a little bit odd. Yeah, I know it's a weird thing. Like, I didn't ask for this ghost dog thing to happen. It just kind of happened. You know, he died, but his ghost was still here. It freaks out the neighbors. If I don't take him for walks, he, like, just kind of leaves the house and scares people. So, like, if yeah, I if don't it, think I can probably do that. Why not? I'd pay. I'd pay the same amount. I'm not asking for a discount just because he's a ghost dog. What's your address? And you don't have to clean up his poop or anything because it's a ghost dog. What's your address? Um. Well, why do you need that now? Like you're saying you won't do it, and then and then you need my address. Well, I don't think we're probably a good fit. Okay. Um, what about house um, house sitting services? Yeah. But um, like water, come in and water your plants, or yeah. Well, also maybe just kind of hang out because the ghost dog is going to be here, and he would just be happy to have somebody around. I don't think so. I don't think we're a good fit. It seems like you're discriminating against the undead. Against ghost dogs, I mean. Oh, no. I've had a dog, and he passed away, and I get it that you still feel him, but... Oh, no, no. um, It's nothing like that. I'm not a weirdo. He's an actual ghost dog. Like, you can see him. Like, anyone can see him. Come over to my house, and you'll see him. What is your house? Uh, 425. 425 what? Salina. What is it? Salina. Salina? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm not in your... Uh, that's not in our neighborhood. No, I'm in the... Mon- I'm on the... Huh? Excuse me? W- where are you at? I'm a... Yeah, I'm I'm with the Homeowners Association. I live over by Edward. You know, you know Ed? No. Do you know Larry? Are you sure you live here? If you no. don't know any of these people. I know several Larrys. Well, I live right by Larry. Like two houses down from Larry. Which Larry? Well, which Larry do you know? If you know several. Well, which one do you know? I don't well, think this is I going asked, anywhere. I asked you first. Yeah, I'm going to hang up. I don't think we're a good fit. Um, are, is it because I'm black? No. Because it sounds like... I didn't even know you were. It had nothing to do with that. It sounds like you're being nothing. racist. No. It kind of sounds that way. Oh, like well, you, it's not that. You find out that I I'm black, you and then you're going to hang that up on me. That would not be a part of it. I'm, it you, you know, just well, the ghost dog, and you don't know your address. And I know my address. I told you my address, and then I told you I live by Larry, and then you're pretending you know, like, more Larrys, more than one Larry. I do know more than one Larry. Which one? Well, I'm going to hang up now. I'm sorry it's not going to work out. You're going to hang Bye-bye. up because I'm black? Racist. 
What a racist lady. Okay, Mary Kay Cosmetics. Oh man, it's I've been doing this for two hours and I, I'm gonna quit after these next couple, I think. Um Mary Kay Cosmetics. I've been a consultant for twenty three years and carry a full line of Mary Kay products. I would be happy to meet with you or deliver any products you may need. What do you guys think? I wonder if I could just rent some uh eyeliner or something. <laughs> what are Mary Kay products? Um uh, uh, I don't know my beauty products. <laughs> Just need to rent a rent a container of foundation. Oh. Hey, uh, this is Steve Day from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. Oh my gosh, your TV's so loud. It's crazy. <laughs> we can hear it over here. Well, I'll turn it down for you. Okay, thank you. Jeez. Uh. What do you need? Um, I noticed that you do the Mary Kay cosmetics thing. I do. And you know the uh, the lip gloss. Do you do you have any of that on hand? Yeah. How much do you have there? Lots. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just need like maybe five containers of it. Five little do you tube. Have a color tube. in mind? No, it doesn't matter. But I'm not going to buy them. I just need to rent them for about an hour, and then I'll. <laughs> You're out of luck on that one. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm with the Homeowners Association, so you ha- kind of have to let us do that. No, I don't. <laughs> yep, yes, you do. We're with the Homeowners Association. It's kind of a requirement thing. and. Mm. Okay. Don't, don't make me look at your paperwork, because I might notice that you haven't registered your, your home business with us yet. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, you think it's funny. Just you wait. Mm. Why are you calling from Middletown, Ohio, when you're supposedly my homeowners association? Well, I'm calling from my personal cell phone. It, it just the number that they gave me. Oh. And this is suspicious. Mm-hmm. Do you have a uh, red lip gloss? Like just like a. I, I need several shades of red, but I'm just going to rent them. <laughs> what are you going to rent them for? Do you know Larry that lives here in the neighborhood? Yeah. I. I accidentally dinged his car. You know, his red car. (laughs) And so now you want to put red lip gloss on it? I read on the internet that'll work. No, it doesn't work. I read on the internet. (laughs) Yeah, well, it doesn't work. No, it'll work. I I watched a YouTube video of it, and it works. Mm -hmm. There's no way to fake that. Good luck with that. Well, I I need to rent the, the lip gloss, stupid. What time can I come by? Can I come by? That made her hang up. She does not like being called stupid, I guess. I haven't had much luck with the the ladies tonight. (laughs) They all just seem to think it's hilarious and don't believe anything I say. All right, so one more list. Uh, First one in this one uh, says, I am looking for one ticket to the March 22nd Classic Rock Night at the Desert Rose Ballroom. (laughs) I don't know what to say to that one. What do you guys think? I'm calling her up. Or him him or her. I don't know. Quick, tell me. Hello, am I speaking? Oh, hello. Uh, this is Steve Day from the Homeowners Association. Hi. Hi. Who's this? I'm sorry I didn't hear your name. Marie. Marie. Marie, yeah. How you doing tonight? Good. That's good. I'm doing good, too. Good. Hey, I have two tickets to the Classic Rock Night at the Desert Rose Ballroom on March 22nd. Oh, perfect. Yep, yep. So uh, one for me. Can I buy one one from you? I only need one. Oh, I was going to go. do I need to buy two? Well, I was going to go with you. Huh? I was going to go with you. Uh, No, I'm looking for one for my niece. Oh, um, how old's your niece? Uh, 24. Okay, that works. I'm 53, but whatever, I'll, I'll, I, I can swing that way. I can, I can go, go that uh, one, I guess. No, I don't think that would be possible. Oh, no, I'm a nice guy. I'm, I'm a really <laughs> nice guy. I'm a gentleman. Well, she's from, uh, uh, 
She's from Manitoba, and that, no, I don't think that would work. Why? No, no, it's okay. We're, we're, I'm compatible with Canadians. Well, we, we, we already booked a table mm-hmm. with a bunch of friends from Canada. I'll just and then uh, we're, we're, we only need, like, uh, we only have room for one more chair. Oh, come on. No, we, I, can, I can squeeze in there. I'll squeeze. Like, um, your niece can sit on my lap. Uh, no, I don't think so. Anyways, we have dinner guests, so I'm just going to oh, go who's, now. Who's over? Is Larry over? I don't know who Larry is. Okay, well, I'm just checking. I was wondering if Larry's there. Um, can I get your niece's cell phone number, maybe, and I'll, I'll just I'll ask her out. Uh, no, it's okay. Why okay, not? thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> I love how she let me go. <laughs> okay, the next one is another completely different person that has golf cart repair, nine years experience. I service brakes, batteries, and more. Call Larry. Hey, it's Larry. And Larry gives us two numbers. Hello? Uh, hi, uh, I'm calling about that set of golf clubs. This is Steve Day from the Homeowners Association. Okay, hold on just a second. Where are you going? <laughs> Parkman wants me to rent them and take them to the pawn shop to get a Hello? loan. Hey, I was calling about those Hello? golf clubs. Oh, yes. Um, for, yeah, $235. Right, right. This is Steve Dave, by the way, from the Homeowners Association. Oh, hi. Hey, I just... Uh, huh, what? Go ahead. Uh, go I just ahead. need to rent them. I just want to rent them for about an hour tonight. I'm just going to borrow them, basically. I'm going to rent them for free, and then I'll bring them right back. I'll, I'll be back by, um, I think, 8.30. May I ask what that's for? No. It's uh, personal. Do I know you? I'm sorry. Do I know you? Uh, per- I don't know if you know me personally, but this is Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Um, yeah, I just, I just, I'm just going to borrow them just, just for an hour. I'm just going to borrow them, and then I'll bring them right back. They'll, they'll look as good as new. I'll clean well, it. You have to tell me what they're for. I mean, this is an odd call. Um, <laughs> dinner time is an odd call. Yeah, I'll I'll so. clean them up. I'll I'll polish them when no, I'm finished. I, like I know, I'll make I sure know. I get but everything this, off this of them. Is, it's just a strange request. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, no, but thank you. no, no. I'm with the homeowners association. I don't know you. Yeah, but I'm, I'm with sorry, the homeowners association. So basically, you have to. I'm I'm saying I will be borrowing them tonight. Okay. Sure. Bye. No, I will be <laughs> coming by. <sighs> All right, you guys. Golf cart repair. Nine years experience. I service brakes, batteries, and more. Call Larry. Yeah, no shit, six week tenure. Homeowners Association doesn't get any respect these days. King Richard, stop stealing ideas from my regret jumping. We've talked about this. Can't do that. Hello? Hi, is Larry around? Yes, just one moment, please. Okay. Hello? Larry, um, this is Steve Day from the Homeowners Association. Yes, how are you doing? Pretty good. How are you doing tonight? Well, not too bad. That's good. Hey, um, I got my uh, golf cart. I, I drove it over to uh, Taco Bell, and I heard that you yeah. could repair them and... <laughs> Um, it's kind of stuck in the parking lot. At Taco Bell? Yeah, like in the drive-thru. They had to close down the drive-thru because it's just sitting there. And they're saying they're going to tow it. You couldn't push it out? Uh, no, no. I just didn't want to. Because I'm, oh, wearing, okay. I'm wearing my good shirt. Oh. What do you think? Like, um, what should I do? I tried to I'm jump it sure. with my car, but that didn't work. Uh, no. Steve, I think you're pulling my leg, maybe. No, no, I wouldn't do that. I'm a Christian. <laughs> you're talking about the Taco Bell on 111? Yeah, yeah, that one. The closest one. Yeah. Well, number one, I don't think a cart would make it to Taco Bell. 
that's probably why it stopped working. I probably used up the battery because I had two batteries yeah. hooked up to it. Two batteries? Yeah, I, I I doubled them up, rigged them up, got two of them. It's Taco Tuesday. <laughs> I, I couldn't I couldn't take my car there because I have to I have that thing um, where you have to blow into it, so it shows my blood alcohol level, and it, it's it was too high tonight to for me to take the car to Taco Bell. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I'm, I'm not believing this story, by the way. Why not? Well, it's just it's just too far out. And you come with me. I'll, I'll I'll drive you over there. I just need you to blow into the thing, and I'll drive you over there, and and you'll see. <laughs> yeah, what's really going on? I'm I just need you to come to Taco Bell. I don't know what's wrong with the t the, the golf cart. How many batteries do you have in it? Two. There's, there's no cart that has two batteries in it. I know. I rigged it up. I put an extra one. There's like extra space in the back. I just set the battery in there. It's like a car battery. No. Uh, a car, a golf cart's got to be either 36 volts, 42 volts, or 48 volts. I know. It's it's a 36 volt, and then I added 12 volts to it. So it's 48 yeah, volts now. Good. It worked. It worked. It did fine. It went faster. Well, you... It sounds like you don't know how to. You don't know anything about golf carts. If you can't even do something simple like that, I guess not. I yeah. I mean, like, why are you advertising that you know how to fix them if you don't know anything about golf carts? Well, I know how to fix golf carts, but I don't know how to fix fantasy stories. It sounds like <laughs> fantasy <laughs> stories. Yeah. This isn't a fantasy story. Oh, come on, Steve. Steve, Dave. It's not Steve. It's Steve, Dave. Oh, okay. What are you guys doing tonight? I'm sitting here watching TV. You want to come over and have a beer? I don't drink. You can tonight. How come? Do something, because I don't know, do something crazy. <laughs> For once in your life. Do I know you? Uh, well, I don't know. Well, we already went over this. Steve Dave oh, okay. from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. Yep. But I'm not I'm not buying the story about you drove your golf cart to Taco Bell with a jerry rig battery in the back. I don't see why the battery thing's so hard to believe. That's like an easy thing to it do. It is. I've I've been working on golf carts for nine years and Well you're just not that number creative one, uh, with them. It's I guess. what, eleven miles to Taco Bell? Yeah. I just put an extra yeah, battery in gonna, and it made it. Golf cart's not gonna make it that far. Huh. Hmm. And if it is, it, it <laughs> it's very good. I, uh, yeah. So now you suddenly think that it is possible, and you're telling me I did very good. Thank you. And you're welcome. But uh, maybe you're too I'm much. Don't buy in the story. You don't think that I would want Taco Bell this time of night, and would just drive over there and? Oh, I'd always want Taco Bell, but. Uh, I just don't think that you did. drove it over there. Hey, can you tell that lady in the background to shut up? <laughs> uh, be quiet. No, tell her to <laughs> shut up. Ah, oh, no, come on now. Hold your hand now up you in the ready. air while you say it. Hold, show her. Huh? The, show, no, no, no. Show her the back of your hand while you say it. Excuse no. Quiet woman. <laughs> What'd she do when you said be quiet? Did she just okay, what's this all about? Uh, I have already told you, and you don't believe me, so I don't know what I else don't. to no, say. I don't. No, I'm really. sorry, I don't. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll just be stuck no. here all night. Can you can you come to Taco Bell and give me a ride? No. Why not? Because well, I don't believe this story. You said you're sober. Just come here and get me. It's just 11 miles. What else are you doing? Watching TV? Yeah. What are you watching? UCLA oh. basketball game. Oh, see, that's boring. Come on. Yeah. I'll, I'll buy you tacos. I'll buy you anything you want from the drive-thru. Oh, I already had dinner, yeah. yeah. Well, this will be a snack after dinner. After dinner after dinner snack. After. What about your wife? Will she come and pick me up? No. Why not? She doesn't drive. Why didn't she drive? She doesn't drive. Why not? This is just too bizarre. Come on, tell me what's going on. Uh, 
I'm just and who you are. I'm just hanging up. You know, okay. just just fuck it. I'm hanging up. Mm, bye. I'll just let them keep my damn golf cart. Okay. All right. Mm, bye. Fine. Bye. Wow, that went nowhere. That was so incredibly boring. I nominate that the most boring call of the night. Last one is uh, someone looking for a home for a rescued German shepherd. My name is Bruce, and I have this three-year-old male German shepherd named Jack. He is well-mannered. Uh, it actually says he is well-manned and is good with people and dogs. If you are interested in taking him in, call me at... Uh, my adoption fee is $250 to cover vet's fees for neutering and vaccinations. Ooh, so it's like a business. You can't do that. It's against the rules. <laughs> David says I should ask for the dog for dog fighting. Hello. Hello. I'm calling about that dog that rescued German Shepherd. Oh, hang on one second. <clears throat> All right. Which uh, which dog now? The rescued German <clears throat> Shepherd. Which one? The one that's well manned. Uh, Jack. Jack is uh, up in San Francisco. Ah, balls. At a, uh, <clears throat> at a uh, rescue called uh, Rocket Dogs. Ah, that's too far. I don't want to go that far. Like, what? Why, yeah. why, what is this, some kind of a scam? <laughs> Where do you come off talking like that to me? Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm calling from the Homeowners Association, by the way, so don't, don't be getting lippy with me. Oh, well, excuse me. Yeah. No, you're calling about a dog that I had. I work with a rescue, and I see that they get rescued. Either go to an adoption family or to another rescue organization. Yeah, it's all the way up in San Francisco, though. Why don't you just like do local ones? I'm, I'm not going to do San Francisco tonight. I work with I work with uh, a lot of ones local and in LA County. Do you have any dogs there, like at your house? Yeah, I do. Like, like the that are available tonight? No, no, I don't. I just need to borrow one for like an hour. <laughs> for what? It Why? Does, it doesn't matter. It's none of your business. Stay out of my business. Well, then, then don't come calling me for borrowing a dog. That's it's just going to be ludicrous. It's just going to be for an hour. Why is that ludicrous? It's just like one hour, one hour, just a, a dog for one hour. I'd like to know why. Uh, it's none of your business. I'm, I'm with the homeowners. Well, if you're asking me for one of my dogs, I want to know what it's going to be for. Well, is it your dog or is it, turn over a dog is it one that you're, you whatever the hell you want to do. Is it, is it a dog that you're selling or is it actually one of your dogs? My dog. Listen, this conversation is done. No, no, wait, I, I have something to tell you. Are you there? I'm here. Okay. The dog, I, I want to use the dog. <clears throat> I want to use the dog to rescue my son. In a, in a fire. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't have yeah. any dogs available for that right now. I'm sorry. You, you just said you have dogs there. It's just for an hour. To rescue your son in a fire. From a burning building. That, yeah. Well, that makes a lot of sense. It does. I wasn't born yesterday, sir. I'm over 70. I've been around for a few years. You wouldn't want to rescue uh, your son from a, a burning building? <clears throat> We well, better call the fire department. That's what they're for. I can't. I've got three strikes. Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck on that. Well, what are you doing with your dogs? It's so important that you can't just let let me borrow them for one hour. Goodbye. You know what? I'm with the homeowners association. <laughs> Shit. That was I regret jumping's idea. <laughs> Rescuing my son. Rest in peace, son. That's the last call. Hello? Hey, uh, we're going to be raising your fees, the Homeowners Association fees, because you're being kind of a dick. Yeah, well, you can go ahead and try that. Oh, we will be doing it. We're, we don't have to try. I just have to push one what little is button. This called, uh, what is this called? Raising your homeowner fees because you're a dick? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It's a, yeah. being a dick fee. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Go ahead. Put it right on your account. When you get your next bill, it's going to be higher. Who is this, by the way? Who's the guy calling me here? What, this is Steve. Who are you? I'm Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Steve I, Dave. Look, I just wanted to borrow a dog for one hour, and, and you're being kind of a dick about it, so I'm going to raise your fees. Okay, well. Look, I'm printing out, yeah. your, I'm printing out the fee right now. 
I just good. typed it in. You're, you're, you're crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm like it's done. It's been printed out. It's in paper. It's in writing. Good. I signed it. I signed your name. It's done. Well, you know what you can do with it then, don't you? What? Tell me. Oh, he didn't tell me. I'm going to call him back. What? Don't keep me in suspense. Cisco Kid wants me to tell him his dogs are androids. Okay. 007 Asians. Let's see. What do I have left? I mean, I'm done for the night, but I have like one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> Holy shit. Fifteen that did not pick up tonight. So I've got to do more of these soon. I definitely will. Thank you, Max Power, for sending these in. I appreciate your lists. Who would the final boss be, Nunu? There's no final boss. I'm just calling from... Random 420-6969 numbers. Cody No Name says I could call the initial boss. Okay. Final boss is Taco Bell. Oh, I should have called that golf cart guy from Taco Bell's number. Just to trick him. Trick him a good one. Nah, I deleted Henry's number. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you, everybody, for listening, all 96 of you on the Mixler and uh, six of you on the Shoutcast. That Shoutcast sure is worth setting up, I guess. East of the Rockies, you're on the air. Hey, calling in. Just wondering if uh, you would be interested. Yes. To do a uh, podcast interview with Four News. We get a lot of viewers, and I feel like I could uh, email them and really sell you up. All right, let's do it. With what though? What's well, the pod- no, no. What's that? What's what's the podcast called? The official podcast. No, I said what is the podcast called? The official podcast. Oh, that sounds important. Okay. It's super important. Let's do it right now. Right in- now. Interview away. I mean, you got to email them. They're they're so important. You can't just get in touch with them. Oh, I thought you, I thought you were with them. I thought you were asking ah, me if I dude, wanted to I wish. I wish, dude. What I'm, what I'm saying is, would you be interested? Oh, sure. Why not? They, they get guests. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll do, uh, make I'll up do. the email and I'll send it their way because they get like 50,000 listeners like per episode. And yeah, just I mean, s- if I get PLA out to them, you know, sell your show up. Yeah. So just say you're my agent. You know, this is perfect. I'm, I'm your agent. <laughs> yep. I'm the host of the voicemails and I will sell you up and I will prostitute you out and they will totally have you on. It's, it's for dudes. So. They just they just talk about really anything, so Cool. I'll I'll have to give them a listen. I will send them your way. Okay. I do that. Woohoo. I can't wait. Alright, great show, man. Thanks. Gotta listen back to this. Yeah, you totally should. not a voicemail. Okay. Alright then. Cool. Bye, honey. Thanks. Love you. Bye. It's weird, I can't hang up on people. Oh, do I have to hang up? Uh yeah, please hang up. All right, I will. Bye. <laughs> okay. That's what I was saying earlier. That other guy called in, and I could not. Like, I don't know. Some weird things going on with my with my thingy. It's very strange. Uh, I regret jumping. Wants some clap sounds. There you, get the, there you go. Okay. Thanks everyone for listening. I'm I'm quitting. Hi, Snowplow Show. Uh, it's Tim Riggy. Hey. And I just wanted to phone up. And say, uh, you know what my favorite part of the Snowplow show is? I give up. What is your uh, When favorite? I'm listening to it. Oh, ha, 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 ha. All right. Thanks, See you later. Tim Riggy. Thanks for all your wacky ideas on today's show. Oh, hey, Brad. Uh, I just wanted to call to let you know that I uh, love the uh, idea of using black. We're losing you. In- We're going under a no, freeway so, overpass. Uh, yeah, I feel like that could be really funny. If you made them just say, like, wacky stuff. I wish I knew what you just said. No. Um, yeah, and loving the Snowplow show. Sounds dude, pretty it's, funny. Uh, it's been great lately, and you've been pumping out the shows. Thanks. So thanks for all your hard work. I try. And, uh, I, I've been getting lots of laughs. So I do thanks. three hours of editing uh, for you guys. And, uh... Bye. 
Thanks for sending me a voicemail from Dimension X or whatever that was. Chris Ellerback, Chris Ellerback, Chris Ellerback, Chris Ellerback. Hey, Chris Ellerback. Chris Ellerback, Chris Ellerback. That reminds me, I really need to start my own cryptocurrency called Ellerbucks. It'll be awesome. Hey, Brad, this is Glenn. Hey, please disregard that other voicemail I left. I'm uh, like <sighs> really? a little bit like, really high on coffee right now. And I had a little bit of anxiety because I just realized, holy shit, I'm calling the phone god right now. But I guess. yeah, um, it'll. De- I try to remember to delete show. it. I guess I've uh, been listening to it for almost two years now. I'm really good friends with that Max Power guy who's been sending you a whole bunch of numbers and mm-hmm. stuff. You and the and name I dropping. I actually discovered the show together a couple years ago while we were on vacation in Vegas. Um, as well, I also want you to know that if you ever plan on doing any calls with sheets, any more calls with sheets, actually in the future. Uh, hit me up, because I'm actually an employee. I forgot to mention, I'm actually an employee with them. Oh, maybe I've prank and called you before. I probably get you some good advice on some stuff to do. So, yeah, Cactus Cactus, please don't play the other message. <sighs> See you, man. Bye. All right. I'll do a bunch of editing just for you. I'll take that out of there. It's not like I just did three hours of editing on the live show part. Why wouldn't I want to do more editing? God damn it, Glenn. Okay, so, uh, it's... Uh, 722, actually, it's a nice call clock. Bam, there we go, it is now 722, according to my clock. So anyway, so I just got back from a racetrack, I built my car on a racetrack, and yada yada yada. Had a lot of fun. Blue gasket. Oop. But, I just wanted to, uh, yeah, so I've been listening to a song that you played on a really, really old... 22 seconds. Show, show ...called Keyboard Cat by MC Shammers, and it is the bomb. And yeah, I, I want to know... I want to know what happened to that dude. I, I whatever happened to MC Shammer. He's okay? still around. He's on. Um, he's on Twitter. I see him on Twitter all the time. He's always posting shit. Personally, I like his "Man Meat" song the best. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the biggest question of the day. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's all. That's it. He's uh, on Twitter. I hope I make it back home, which is four and a half hours away. I just started the trip. Let's hope my car survives. I hope you don't. And yeah. Have a great one. Okay. Bye. I'm going to put a link in the show notes right now to MC Shammer's Twitter. I remember once I went into a uh, chat room, a video chat room, and MC Shammer's was in there. And I'm like, hey, Shammer's, what you cooking? And it made him laugh. It was the best thing ever. Probably no other person on earth gets that reference, but I don't care. I made Shammer's laugh once. Wait, Brad, you have some cactus fucker. You, you cut this off my last voice now, and don't worry, this is going to be a quick message. Oh, it's an important what? message. Brexit means Brexit. All right, spread the word. All right, thank you for that. There's like five messages here from blocked numbers. It's probably all that guy. I'm just going to skip past those for now. Hey, Brad. I'm just calling today because I had a crazy-ass fun dream about you last night. Whoa. And I felt like telling you for some Did you say you had an ass dream about me last reason. night? Anyways, it's Nico, and I hope you're having a good day. Talk to you later. What? Bye. No details about the crazy ass dream? All right, whatever. Hey, Brad, you toilet hair. Hey. Face man. I'm sitting here eating some goldfish crackers. This That's is your nice. recording time is about to expire. Yeah. Please finish now, your message well, within fuck. eight seconds. You hear me? Fuck your fucking system, you fucking cock. Oh, it's a conference. This one is three minutes long. That's the maximum time for a voicemail. I don't want to listen to people have a conference, but thanks for the voicemail. Yeah, this is, this is me, Cheech. I got all the numbers you need. Okay. Any company, any number. All right. Let me send them to you. I'll show you how to do it. You do that, Cheech. Sounds good. Hey, Roy. It's Masshole Matt here, and just want to say that, um, you know... Obviously, I live in New England since my nickname is Masshole Matt. But, uh, I yeah. didn't catch so that. This past snowstorm, guess what? I didn't have any fucking power. Yeah. Uh huh. You know what I did all day? I just masturbated uh-huh. all day to thoughts, thinking of you. That's great. But I couldn't listen to your sexy voice. You and Nico. So it was very difficult. And guess what? We're having another fucking Nor'easter. So, yay! No power still. I don't care. Woo! Whatever. Fuck yeah! Bring it on, motherfuckers! You, yeah. fail, you failed to get me excited about this, but you tried. I hope you got your power back, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's weird. That's so weird. I just used that sound effect to laugh at that guy for not having power, and then the next voicemail is someone playing it back at me. That's kind of freaking me out. 
Whoever did that, don't do that hey, again. Hey, Arby, it's uh, T Bone checking in from Fucking wizard. Atlanta, Georgia. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Yeah, it's wanted all right. to uh, thank you for uh, featuring our good friend uh, Reaper Badness so many times. That guy is amazing. I listen to uh, he sure his, is. Uh, his beats. Uh, Everybody relic- should go find Reaper Badness and listen to his other tracks. I'm going to put a link to him. In the show notes right now. Really often, and uh, while I listen to this, thank you, uh, Reefer, if you happen to hear this, and uh, yeah, thanks, thank you, Reefer. RB, for doing what you do and being the guy you are. So uh, I try. We'll keep doing what we do on the Patreon machines, and uh, hope you keep doing what you do on the uh, the PLA uh, radio devices. And, I will. Uh, love you so much. Bye bye. I'll keep doing it until they make me stop, which probably won't be much longer. Hey. Hey. It's Corbin Guy. I know. And did you know that um, there's a day this month. Yes, it, it's it's Rectal Colon Cancer Awareness Day. Exactly. And and to to support the Snowplow <laughs> Show, you're you're gonna have to go to the Patreon, Snowplow Show, um All of the money of America will go to rectal cancer and, and you will something. not get rec- you will not get rectal cancer. Okay, okay. Guaranteed no rectal cancer. Rectal cancer. Rectal Guaranteed, cancer, everyone. Rectal cancer. I don't. I don't know. I'm. I'm confused now. If you get rectal cancer after you've supported the Patreon, I will give you a refund for your previous month of Patreon support. You can't go wrong. Brad, the reason that the U.S. Today the article no rectal cancer guarantee. Those old style abbreviations is oh, because yes. there's something called the AP Associated Press uh, style guide uh, for journalists and publications mm-hmm. and for some reason those standards uh, still include those old style abbreviations but why but uh, why it makes them look like a bunch of hobos it does they should really change that but that's the reason so now you know the internet doesn't use early 20th century state abbreviations don't the newspapers want to keep up with the internet no wonder they're going out of business that still pretty much just does not answer my question about why newspapers use old state abbreviations. They need to get with the times. I just called to say I love you. Okay. I just called to say I love you. Thanks. Seriously, Brad, I got you hooked up through my mixer, and I just wanted to get your opinion on how it sounds. I can't even understand what you're saying, but I understand that you love me, and you just called to say you love me. I'm sorry I'm not playing the remaining 40 seconds of your voicemail. Not even Google Translate could make it out, so I'm giving up on it. Hey, Roy, how's it going? I gotta say, I haven't uh, listened to all your stuff, and I've been listening to to everything for about three months at my work. Wow. Um, I was just listening to the dog park. I just had a suggestion. Um, You should probably say that one of the dogs um, hacked your. Yeah, never mind. Oh, thanks for. Yeah, one of the, one of the dogs was... hacked your, the microchip of another dog, and. Uh, oh, okay. And you think that he is a identity thief? Also, one of the things too would be that one of the dogs reminded you of your grandpa, and you think that the dog has been reincarnated. And you'd like to hang out with the dog for a day. Next time I get a dog lunch. park list. Also, another one. Definitely do all these. I would probably be um, that you think that their dog's in the gang because your dog told you that he's been saying to stay off his turf. It's making your dog a little afraid. I can't this by. I will do all of those. I definitely will not forget any of those. You know, I tried to do a show, I think last year, where I tried to convince people that I had hacked their dog chips and I had full control of their dogs. Is that what I said? It was something like that. And it just didn't work out. People didn't seem to believe it. They didn't believe that I could control their dogs through their dog chips. Answer the phone, Goon. It's a voicemail, dummy. Why would I answer it? Hey, Brad. It's Pussy Slap. I wanted to know if I could plug my show into your no. show. If I can't, here it is. You it's uh, dot com forward slash Pussy Slap. Um, kind of do a prank call show just like everybody else. It's almost like a ripoff. Uh, but but it's not. I, I try to be original. Nah, but it's really it's hard because Brad in the Snowplow show is kind of like, you know, uh, uh, The Simpsons. All prank Simpsons calls done are everything. the same. Like, really? You have an idea and it's like, The Snowplow show did it. Yeah. I'm like, all right, well, let me do this. I've ruined prank calls for everyone. 
he's done it all, man. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. But uh, if any of you listeners want to listen to something almost as good, Mixler.com slash Pussy Slap. Yeah, Mixler.com forward slash Pussy Slap. And uh, we'll have a good time. Anyways, but Brad is the best. Nah. All right. Later, later, guys. Bye. Just so you know, I don't mind if you copy me. I love when people use my ideas. I think every prank call show should copy each other. And I copy plenty of other people. I love doing lunk alarms, and that's Carlito's thing. That's my favorite thing to do is lunk alarms. And really, I'm just copying the jerky boys. We're all copying someone. So I was uh, listening to old PLA videos hey Max Power. on YouTube. And I can't leave two voicemails. A series of pranks that were done from an auto parts store. And on the, some of the videos, it says phonelosers.org. But the name on the account that the video were uploaded from doesn't say uh, phone losers on it. So Does I was just wondering what calls? the connection was there. And in the description, it says there was some guy named Chuck who was doing those calls. So I just I just found the videos pretty hilarious. So I just wanted to go ahead and just wonder what that was all about. Anyways, thanks. Cactus Cactus. Well, years ago, Legend had the great idea of putting prank calls on YouTube. And he was doing that before I was doing that. So he put a bunch of PLA stuff on his channel. I didn't mind because it was a good way to promote PLA, but I think he still has all the stuff on his channel, even though I've put all that stuff up too at this point. And then there's just other channels out there that um, put PLA stuff on their channels. And the thing about Chuck, I think if you go to phonelosers.org slash auto parts, I'm going to go there right now. I've probably changed it by now. Yeah, I, I wrote up a fake story to uh, kind of hopefully keep myself from getting arrested because you know those auto parts calls we called the phone company and we tricked them into forwarding their calls to a party line that we could sit there and answer the calls on so instead of admitting to all of that on the web page i wrote hi my name is chuck and i work at an auto parts store in southeast kentucky the job itself isn't so bad but the moronic customers always coming in and thinking they know shit really gets on my nerves especially the phone calls so we started recording the phone calls just so we'd have something to laugh at on slow days. And now I present these phone calls to you. For those who say I need to be fired, let's see you try working at an auto parts store for more than a month. And people believed that. They thought I really worked in some auto parts store and I was just being an asshole to customers. And then they made fun of me for not knowing anything about auto parts because I don't. They're like, how can you work in an auto parts store? You don't even know what a, a caliper is. So that's where the Chuck thing comes from, Max. Hey Brad, it's Gloria. Thanks for like the 25 fucking emails yesterday. Like, <laughs> look at my inbox. I'm like, what sorry. Brad post 25 shows. I posted an explanation of this, by the way, on phonelosers.org about what I'm trying to do with the syndicated feeds and stuff and why I'm doing it. Uh, it's fine though. You're just. And it's probably going to happen again because I think I should probably syndicate uh, Mr. Dabalina's wonderful world of prank calls onto phonelosers.org too. So be prepared for that. You're going to get another 10 or 12 or how many episodes there are of that. That at the internet. But uh, on top of that, do you ever think about calling, like, a, like uh, if you have, like, a church phone directory, you should probably, like, pick one person in that church and, like, make them the target and then call everyone else and say that person needs an emergency exorcism. Okay. And they have to get to the church immediately. I'll just target some just, like, old widow look, lady. Like, just fucking crazy. I mean, do you, know, do you know how funny that would be? They're like, oh, they, you, you, like some random like old man that they've known for like 45 years who sits in the pew in front of them, suddenly has like the, the is like the spawn of Satan and needs like an emergency exorcism and like imagine people will show up at the church. I could be Probably convenient. none of them. You should do it, Brad. I mean, come on. I mean, I'm not forcing you <laughs> to do believe it. Believe that. Same time, it's like you have the voice and the energy to do so. But anyway, okay. uh, thanks for the book and everything. I'm, I'm still reading through it. I'm gonna do and it. Uh, confirm that you are one creepy ass person. Try not to give away your book are this you a time. Person? I don't know. Uh, hey, you're an alien. I think. I think. Yeah, that seems more fair. You're an alien. Okay. I think Gloria's smoking Bye. weed, you guys. Gloria's discovered the weed. Don't smoke every day, Gloria. It's bad for you. Hi, Brad. It's Stephen Ferroni. Okay. I'm phoning up because in your hobo sode acid 10, even I have trouble saying that word. You mm. said you're having trouble with the sponsors. Uh, you could still do my idea, which was the one about using somebody as your supervisor, so that if the person on the call says, I want to speak to your supervisor, you'd say, oh, that's Ryan Jardina, and he's out at the moment, he's returning that awkward moment with Zac Efron to a video shop. Uh, yes. The other idea I had was, otherwise, if you want to just use them in a call, maybe, so instead of saying your name is Roy, you say, hello, my name is Kuraz. 
and you could do just that once a show, and that would be the other show's sponsor. So then you could get for at least two a show instead of just one. That's okay, true. speak to you later. Right, bye. Steven is talking about my terrible problem I have with having just way too many sponsors, and there's not enough days in the month to have all of these people be a sponsor of every show. And he's right. I should just be saying, yeah, my name is Neekish. My name is I Regret Jumping. This is Teen Wolf Jesus from the corporate office. Let me transfer you to my supervisor. Six-week tenure. Hi there. This is six-week tenure. Can I help you? No, I'm kidding. There's plenty of normal-sounding names in here that I could do that with. But really, I'd have to use last names then, and I try not to do that because of all the crazies out there. Right now is probably the perfect time, though, to mention all of the people who I didn't get to make sponsors last month, back in February, like Brandon R., Kuraz, Boba Bob, The Hobo Bob, Thunor, The Real Crazy Kraz, Sim Speak, Robert S., Jason B., David J., King Richard, Brown Magic, Gobi, Sean L., Miguel F., holy shit, there's a lot of them, F in Reality, Toiny Toiny, Nikki D., Ty A., Jennifer 8, Cacti, The Anti Chris, Murray K, Julian J, William K, Todd L, Nagler, Fun Society Arcade, and Philip B. And I try to do it so if I don't get to use you as a sponsor this month, I'll use you as a sponsor next month. But even then, I kind of fail sometimes. Hey, Brad. Uh, I'm calling because I wanted to find out about this this coin thing in the Patreon. So you, uh, you said in the show that um, we can, if we've given over $100 total on Patreon, and you will send us a coin, send, you know, send that people have done that a coin, and we should put in our uh, addresses on uh, Patreon to make that happen, but uh, there's no way to put my address on, man, there's no way to do it, and I've uh, sent you an email and did a post on Facebook asking everyone else if they knew what I should do, and I even uh, left a voicemail and you didn't listen to it, because you just listened to the first five seconds and then turned it off, but... uh, Uh uh, no hard feelings about that. I just want to know how I can get my coin. Uh, yeah. Why and, did I uh, do that? Was it if like, I have to did I not hear your house it? and take it from you? I will. So yeah, take that. Oh, we'll see. You know how many Chinese people I've killed in my life? I will go out there and buy a gun to defend myself if you come around here, especially if you're Chinese. Sorry, I'm picking up bad habits from people I call. Uh, Yeah, I don't know where to put your address on Patreon. I've tried to figure that out myself, but I don't belong to any Patreon campaigns where I need to give my address to them. So I don't have a way to just click all over the place and figure it out myself. I wonder if I could just look on the help file on Patreon or if it's even a thing you can do. Because I know people can go in there and update their addresses if their address is already in there. So it seems like there'd be a way to put your address in there if it's not in there already. And maybe it's because, like, if you're a $5 supporter... Originally, I didn't even have $5 supporters put their addresses into the system because I had no reason to mail them things. But recently, I changed that so $5 supporters do need to put their addresses in if they want to. So maybe it's because you joined my Patreon before I did that. You know, I bet a way to fix this might be to uh, change your support level down to like $3 and then move it back to $5 immediately after. And that way it'll ask you for your address. But would that charge you an extra $2 when you go back up? I don't know. It might. So do that one at your own risk. I might be stealing $2 from you if you do that. I don't think so though, because I raised my pledge on a Patreon that I belong to recently. And it said it wasn't going to charge me until the first of the month. So it's probably safe to do that. Just go down to $3 and then go back up to $5. But don't worry, because I will be emailing anybody that um, doesn't have their address on there. And I'll, I'll make sure you get one. And this year, I'm not going to run out. I'm getting plenty of coins this time around. Last year, I ran out and I totally screwed some people over. But it's not going to happen this year, thanks to the Kickstarter. I'm getting plenty of coins this time. I'm probably going to be regretting that in 2020 when I still haven't gotten rid of them all. I think that's it for today's episode of the Snowplow Show. Thank you, Kuraz, for being a supporter forever. And thanks, everyone else, for listening. Thank you, everyone in the chat room, for giving me ideas today. The live shows always have the wackiest ideas. Thanks to you guys. Be sure to add us on Facebook, facebook.com slash phone losers. On Twitter, twitter.com slash phone losers. I don't say all this stuff nearly enough. Actually, there's a post in the PLA group this morning by Matthew Young, and he says, Can you people share PLA with your friends? The fact that PLA YouTube channel only has 29,000 subscribers and Ownage Prank has 4.5 million is such an outrage, it pisses me off. Post it to your wall, email your friends, share the videos on Reddit, 
I think some of you forget the importance of spreading the word because Brad is so cool. It's true. And doesn't beg people to do stuff like this. I just kind of forget to. Like by the time the voicemails are over, I'm just like, fuck it. I just want to end this. Got all this editing to do now. Matthew says this is some of the best content out there. I don't know how he's not one of the biggest YouTube channels. There's so many people out there that could be huge fans, but they've just never heard of it. Spread the word. Only takes a few seconds to share. See, I don't feel like I'm begging because I'm just reading Matthew Young's Facebook post. That's all. But I totally agree with him. Spread the word. Someone brought up that my shows take some getting used to because I have long intros and voicemails and news updates, which he loves, but new listeners would probably be like, what the fuck is this? And that's what Mr. Dabalina's wonderful world of prank calls is all about. I'm trying to skip over all that stuff and just play the, the best prank calls from the shows. And holy shit, it's been a few weeks since I've done a new Mr. Dabalina show. I need to make a new one of those, maybe tonight. But yeah, tell people about Mr. Dabalina's wonderful world of prank calls at worldofprankcalls.com. If you don't think they can handle all of my boring rambling on the Snowplow show, because it's true, Adrian, I totally agree with you. I can see why new people wouldn't like this show. That's why I put the prank calls in the very beginning of the shows a lot, to try and trick people into thinking that's what they're going to hear, just nonstop prank calls. And then they're like, oh shit, this is boring. It's just a long intro. It's 15 minutes of intro. But I don't want to change it. I'm doing the show the way I like to do it. Also, there's the main PLA YouTube channel, youtube.com slash phone losers of America. That's the one where I just post the single pranks, the same ones you hear in Mr. Dabalina's. So that's another place you could send people to, get them hooked on the pranks over there, and then hopefully they'll come and check out this show eventually. Anyway, bug the shit out of everybody to listen to phone losers. Post it on Twitter, post it on Reddit. I am also pissed off that I don't have 4.5 million viewers on YouTube. This is bullshit. It's taking way too long to reach 4.5 million. If I don't reach 4.5 million by next year, I'm just going to give up and quit. So everyone should definitely share things. I'm ending today's show with a song by MC Shammers. For some reason, the guy in the voicemail likes Keyboard Cat better than Man Meat. So I'm going to play Keyboard Cat. Here it is. We see people do the dumbest stuff, which is why it is never enough. To have a cat with a keyboard, play these failures out. You with those furry buns up on the keys. Play them up one more time. Key to the board, C-A-T, kitty, kitty, cat. You're calling me a dummy? Well, you're being kind of a dummy. You're saying, like, you don't even... Who the fuck are you? 